remember, all games, times, and channels are subject to change. Check SiriusXM.com for the latest updates. Sirius XM has soccer covered end to end. Sirius XM FC. Hear live play-by-play and talk shows hosted by legends of the game. It's Sirius XM FC on Channel 157. For Sirius XM Sports, I'm Ryan Payton. You know, Novak Djokovic has become only the third person to hold all four Grand Slam tennis titles at one time. Two players have completed that feat in a calendar year. Only one has done it twice. His name... Rod Laver. In 1962, he competed as an amateur and became the first player since Don Budge in 1938 to complete the calendar slam. His hardest test came on clay, winning three straight five setters en route to the French Open title. In all, there were 22 wins for Laver in 1962. Now, until 1968, pros were not allowed to play in Grand Slam tournaments. When that rule was changed, the Open era began. This, of course, meant Laver was banned from the majors for five years of his career. But once the doors opened for professionals, he burst onto the Grand Slam scene. He won the first Wimbledon of the Open era in 1968, defeating top-ranked amateur Arthur Ashe in the semifinal in straight sets, then went on to win the final. Laver would win a total of 11 Grand Slams as both a pro and an amateur At this time, despite being banned from Grand Slam play for five of his best years, he won six doubles Grand Slams, three mixed doubles titles, and he also led his Australian team to five Davis Cup victories. One of the best, an icon in Rod Laver. For Sirius XM Sports, I'm Ryan Pete. Follow every second of the action on NHL Network Radio. From behind the bench to every play on the ice. If it's hockey, it's on Sirius XM NHL Network Radio. Sirius XM 91. I'm Frank Trachtenberg with your Sirius XM Sports schedule for Thursday, April the 11th. All times are Eastern and please remember, all games, times, and channels are subject to change. Check SiriusXM.com for the latest updates. In Major League Baseball, 12.20 p.m., Atlanta Braves take on the New York Mets. Braves on Sirius 208, XM 175, and Internet 841. Mets on Internet 857. One ten p.m., Cincinnati Reds take on the Milwaukee Brewers. Reds on Sirius 209, XM 176, and Internet 846. Brewers on Internet 855. One ten p.m., Detroit Tigers take on the Minnesota Twins. Tigers on Sirius 210, XM 177, and Internet 849. Twins on Internet 856. 2.10 p.m., Kansas City Royals take on the Houston Astros. Royals on Sirius 211, XM 178, and Internet 851. Astros on Internet 850. 2.35 p.m., Texas Rangers take on the Oakland A's. Rangers on Sirius 106, XM 179, and Internet 867. A's on Internet 859. Spanish feed on Sirius 119, XM 180, and Internet 870. 6.40 p.m., Philadelphia Phillies take on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Phillies on Sirius 208, XM 175, and Internet 860. Pirates on Internet 861. 7, 10 p.m., Boston Red Sox take on the Baltimore Orioles. Red Sox on Sirius and XM channels 89, Internet 843. Orioles on Internet 842. In the NBA, 7 p.m., Detroit Pistons face the Chicago Bulls. Pistons on Sirius 137, XM 212, and Internet 888. Bulls on Internet 884. 7, 30 p.m., Boston Celtics take on the New York Knicks. Celtics on Sirius and XM channels 86, Internet 881. Knicks on Internet 899. 9 p.m., Utah Jazz take on the Houston Rockets. Jazz on Sirius 138, XM 213, and Internet 908. Rockets on Internet 890. 10 p.m. Portland Trailblazers take on the Golden State Warriors. Trailblazers on Sirius 139, XM 214, and Internet 904. Warriors on Internet 889. 10 p.m. Sacramento Kings face the New Orleans Pelicans. Kings on Sirius and XM channels 86, Internet 905. Pelicans on Internet 898. In NCAA College Baseball, 7 p.m. Florida State faces Miami on XM and Internet 371. 7 p.m. Georgia faces Missouri on XM and Internet 374. In NCAA College Hockey, Denver faces Boston University on Sirius XM and Internet Channels 84. 8.30 p.m. Michigan faces Boston College on Sirius XM and Internet Channels 84. In NCAA College Soccer, 7 p.m. Oklahoma faces BYU on XM and Internet 375. In the USL, 7 p.m. Miami FC takes on Tampa Bay Rowdies on Sirius XM and Internet Channels 157. In the NHL, 7 p.m. Pittsburgh Penguins take on the Detroit Red Wings. Penguins on Sirius XM Channels 91, Internet 942. Red Wings on Internet 930. 7 p.m. Toronto Maple Leafs take on the New Jersey Devils. Maple Leafs on Sirius XM Channels 167, Internet. 
I think it's a mutual one and done for Dame Lillard and Milwaukee. As crazy as that may sound. The best guests join me and Sam Mitchell every Saturday morning, 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern Time on NBA Radio. Channel 86 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. There is no competition in soccer quite like the UEFA Champions League. And it's on Sirius XM FC. Kylian Mbappe delivering when it matters most. The stakes are higher now in the knockout stage where one goal can transform a club's trajectory. Jude Bellingham's driving, driving, scores! And one performance can turn a star into an immortal. Erling Haaland has five! It's the Champions League knockout stage and all the top matches are on Sirius XM FC 157 and the all-new Sirius XM app. Feel the energy. Blast the world by... in a community of hard rock extremists. World premieres, live performances, and artist takeovers. A giant thank you to the entire Octane community for keeping rock alive. Turn up, new hard rock. Turn up Octane. Channel 37 and on the Sirius XM app. Amin El Hassan and Zach Harper bring you Inside the Front Office on NBA Insiders. The Bucks, even though they're struggling, as long as they believe in what's happening, that's the most important predictor for success. You can't just roll the ball out in the playoff. You have to believe when the games start mattering that we're going to get another level from the Bucks. Join NBA Insiders in the Executive Suite every Sunday, 10 to 1 p.m. Eastern on NBA Radio Channel 86 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Welcome back to Kings Live. This is the Golden One Credit Union Coaches Show. Get exclusive Golden One Center benefits, including special access, plus discounts on merchant tickets. Go to goldenone.com slash benefits for more. Here's the G-Man, Gary Gerald. So here we are, final three games of the regular season, back on the home floor to close it out at Golden One Center. Three games, four days. Doug Christie is joining us here, and we all know how critical this situation is. How would you gauge the resolve of this group facing these final three games? That's a good one because, uh, I mean, first and foremost, I think that we've seen some fight. We've been unable to finish. We didn't finish Boston. We didn't finish the other night. But um, going into these three games, like, am I confident that we can beat these teams? Yes, I am. But to your point, the resolve is in the 48 minutes of, of playing. The resolve is when things go bad, how do you respond? The resolve is do you want to fight for the entire game? And in my heart, it says yes, but now you got to go out and do it. In that game in Oklahoma City, the last time out for the Kings, um, the shooting numbers took a serious nosedive in the second half. Yeah. After you and the coaches had a chance to break things down, look at the video, what were you able to, to find in terms of evaluation? Well, I would say more than anything, like, did they turn up their defensive pressure a little bit? Maybe. I don't think the sprays were as abundant as they were in the first half. I thought we sprayed the ball at an incredibly high level, which gave guys really wide open looks. In the second half, I, I think we took some good shots, and we didn't make those shots. So it, it, it's, it's a little bit of us and a little bit of them. Uh, and when you put that recipe together, most times it doesn't go good for you. One of the things that we've seen an uptick in the last month, the defensive rating has taken a tremendous climb for the Sacramento Kings. And the offensive rating has slipped, probably because you don't have Monk and you don't have Herter. So how difficult is it to replace the 25 points or so that they bring in the pick-and-roll game between Malik and, and, and the big man? Well, it, it's, it's really important, especially for Domas. That's, I think, what we have to understand because part of his game is playing in the pocket. And Malik, it's a nuance to what's happening. Are we hitting Domas in the pocket sometimes? Yes. Uh, but we have a Canada cutters cutting through. Guys are respacing. And Malik's brilliance is the fact that as that happens, he holds on for a second. And he lets that clear out. So when Domas catches it, either he has a more of a free reign to the bucket or he sprays the ball over the top to the corner since that guy is stopping and helping. And guys are, are hitting him in the pocket, but those are the nuances that a guy like Malik Monks brings you, but it's, it's a special talent. So this now is the fifth time against the Pels, and they've smacked us around pretty doggone decisively. Yeah. What has to be done better? 
Well, I'm ready to fight, personally, okay? Uh, but I can't play. So, um, you know, there has to be a sense of urgency, and there has to be a commitment on the defensive end, really on both ends, but especially on the defensive end for 24 seconds at a time. I'm talking about possession by possession because that is what? That's playoff basketball. And that's where we're at right now. We're at playoff basketball, and that's how we got to look at it. We can't wait for five days from now and all of a sudden lock in. These are the games building up to that. We've had good quarters against them. We've hung in. We've won quarters. And then all of a sudden there's a point where things, their pressure and those things, and we fall apart. That just can't happen. It's demonstrated that you can do it. Now you have to do it with the level of consistency that comes with beating a team of this caliber. And one of the focal points, I'm sure, Zion Williamson averages 17 and a half in the paint. So what do you risk if you try to jam things up for him and other guys have a shot at taking over? Well, I think really more than anything, you want Zion to take the shots because once these other guys get going, you got to pick your poison. And that's the only way I can say it. <laughs> All right. So, appreciate you, man. Love you, big man. All right. All right, thank you, G-Man. Thank you to Doug Christie. Break time for us. We'll come back. Some final thoughts. Henry's keys to the game. That's all straight ahead here on the Kings Audio Network. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Howie Bird hit the jump with no second spot. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we rely on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. The biggest names in the NBA all stop by the starting lineup. The legend had a storm. By the way, I'm super excited to be on your show. I listen to you guys all the time. So be honest. You think Frank on this show is exactly how he is in real life? Because a lot of people ask me that question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell them that. I say what that's exactly how he is. It's not a bit. Hear more great guests on the starting lineup every weekday morning from 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern on Sirius XM NBA Radio, Channel 86 in the car, and on the all-new Sirius XM app. This is PGA Tour Pro Smiley Kaufman, and I'm happy to announce that you can now hear me on Sports Grid Radio. Just in time for the Masters, I'm bringing my show, The Smiley Show, to Channel 159, where I'll catch up with other golfers, athletes, and celebrities. John Ralph becomes the fourth Spaniard to win at Augusta. Join me every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. in the East on Sports Grid Radio. Channel 159 in your car and on the all-new SiriusXM app. The biggest names in the NBA are on NBA Today with Justin Termini and Eddie Johnson. Uh, we're talking here with Nate McMillan, former Blazers, Sonic Pacers, and Hawks head coach. What's your take on NBA coming back this late in the season, coach? Conditioning is going to be the big key because you just can't duplicate, you know, playing in practice and, you know, playing in a game situation. NBA Today, weekdays from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern, only on Sirius XM NBA Radio Channel 86 and the all-new Sirius XM app. There is no competition in soccer quite like the UEFA Champions League. And it's on Sirius XMFC. Kylian Mbappe delivering when it matters most. The stakes are higher now in the knockout stage where one goal can transform a club's trajectory. Jude Bellingham's driving, driving scores! And one performance can turn a star into an immortal. Erling Haaland has five! It's the Champions League knockout stage and all the top matches are on Sirius XMFC 157 and the all-new Sirius XM app. Whatever you can to get a win. Hey, that, that's or wins for it happened in baseball i'm mick kern mlb network radio is your home for 24 7 baseball talk featuring on-site coverage of every major event from spring training through the world series and expert analysis from former general managers and players sirius xm channel 89 I'm Frank Trachtenberg with your Sirius XM Sports schedule for Thursday, April the 11th. All times are Eastern, and please remember, all games, times, and channels are subject to change. Check SiriusXM.com for the latest updates. In Major League Baseball, 12.20 p.m., Atlanta Braves take on the New York Mets. Braves on Sirius 208, XM 175, and Internet 841. Mets on Internet 857. 1.10 p.m., Cincinnati Reds take on the Milwaukee Brewers. Reds on Sirius 209, XM 176, and Internet 846. Brewers on Internet 855. 110 p.m. Detroit Tigers take on the Minnesota Twins. Tigers on Sirius 210, XM 177, and Internet 849. Twins on Internet 856. 210 p.m. Kansas City Royals take on the Houston Astros. 
Royals on Sirius 211 XM 178 and Internet 851. Astros on Internet 850. 2.35 p.m. Texas Rangers take on the Oakland A's. Rangers on Sirius 106 XM 179 and Internet 867. A's on Internet 859. Spanish feed on Sirius 119 XM 180 and Internet 870. 6.40 p.m. Philadelphia Phillies take on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Phillies on Sirius 208 XM 175 and Internet 860. Pirates on Internet 861. 7.10 p.m. Boston Red Sox take on the Baltimore Orioles. Red Sox on Sirius XM channels 89 Internet 843. Orioles on Internet 842. In the NBA, 7 p.m., Detroit Pistons face the Chicago Bulls. Pistons on Sirius 137 XM212 and Internet 888. Bulls on Internet 884. 7.30 p.m., Boston Celtics take on the New York Knicks. Celtics on Sirius XM channels 86 Internet 881. Knicks on Internet 899. 9 p.m., Utah Jazz take on the Houston Rockets. Jazz on Sirius 138 XM213 and Internet 908. Rockets on Internet 890. 10 p.m. Portland Trailblazers take on the Golden State Warriors. Trailblazers on Sirius 139, XM 214, and Internet 904. Warriors on Internet 889. 10 p.m. Sacramento Kings face the New Orleans Pelicans. Kings on Sirius and XM channels 86, Internet 905. Pelicans on Internet 898. In NCAA College Baseball, 7 p.m. Florida State faces Miami on XM and Internet 371. 7 p.m. Georgia faces Missouri on XM and Internet 374. In NCAA College Hockey, Denver faces Boston University on Sirius XM and Internet Channels 84. 8.30 p.m., Michigan faces Boston College on Sirius XM and Internet Channels 84. In NCAA College Soccer, 7 p.m., Oklahoma faces BYU on XM and Internet 375. In the USL, 7 p.m., Miami FC takes on Tampa Bay Rowdies on Sirius XM and Internet Channels 157. In the NHL, 7 p.m., Pittsburgh Penguins take on the Detroit Red Wings. Penguins on Sirius XM channels 91, Internet 942. Red Wings on Internet 930. 7 p.m., Toronto Maple Leafs take on the New Jersey Devils. Maple Leafs on Sirius XM channels 167, Internet 947. Devils on Internet 937. 7 p.m., Tampa Bay Lightning take on the Ottawa Senators. Lightning on XM 222, Internet 946. Senators on Internet 940. 7 p.m., Buffalo Sabres take on the Washington Capitals. Sabres on XM 219, Internet 923. Capitals on Internet 950. 7 p.m., New York Rangers take on the Philadelphia Flyers. Rangers on XM 221, Internet 939. Flyers on Internet 941. 7 p.m., Florida Panthers take on the Columbus Blue Jackets. Panthers on XM 220, Internet 932. Blue Jackets on Internet 928. 7.30 p.m., New York Islanders take on the Montreal Canadiens. Islanders on XM 223, Internet 938. Canadians on Internet 935. 8 p.m., Dallas Stars take on the Winnipeg Jets. Stars on XM 207, Internet 929. Jets on Internet 951. 10 p.m., Seattle Kraken face the San Jose Sharks. Kraken on Sirius XM channels 91 Internet 944, Sharks on Internet 943. 10.30 p.m. LA Kings take on the Calgary Flames. Kings on XM 219 Internet 933, Flames on Internet 924. I'm Frank Trachtenberg with your Sirius XM sports schedule for Thursday, April the 11th. All times are Eastern and please remember, all games, times, and channels. Your home for the NBA is Sirius XM. Follow all the drama as your favorite team vies for it all. Sirius XM NBA Radio. Sirius XM 86. For Sirius XM Sports, I'm Ryan Payton. Northern Dancer was a champion racehorse in the mid-60s. The Canadian bred Bay Stallion was the North American three-year-old champion horse of the year after winning two-thirds of the American Triple Crown. His win at the Kentucky Derby was set in a record fashion of two minutes flat, a number that stood till 1973 when Secretariat would beat it. Northern Dancer went tires this spring and get the fourth for only a dollar. Not only will new tires maximize the MPG of your Toyota, but they'll also help you stay safe out there on the open road. Experience peace of mind and savings today. For a limited time at your local Toyota dealer, when you buy three new tires, you'll get the fourth for only a dollar. So stop by your local Toyota dealer now. Toyota, let's go places. Restrictions apply. Toyota and sign vehicles only. See participating Toyota dealers for details. Offer ends April 30th. Have you seen this week's Something Extra member deals at Rayleigh's in Bel Air? Now through Tuesday, click your digital member deal online or in the app to get large packs of Rayleigh's fresh, boneless, skinless chicken breasts with no antibiotics ever for $1.97 a pound, limit two packs. Just clip your deal at Rayleigh's.com or in the Rayleigh's app before checkout to save. And clip your digital member deal to get one dozen Rayleigh's large, cage-free eggs for just $2.97 each, limit four. That's savings you can count on. That's Rayleigh's in Bel Air.
When you wake up well-rested on a great mattress, everything becomes clear. Huh, I do make everything about me. Things you missed when you were tired finally reveal themselves. My passport is in the pocket of the duffel bag I took to Mexico. At Mattress Firm, we know the right mattress matters. We also know that price does too. So if you see a lower price somewhere else, we'll match it. Plus, you get free and fast delivery. Shop in-store or online at mattressfirm.com. The right mattress matters. We'll find yours. Restrictions apply. See store or website for details. Time to give you our out-of-town scoreboard. Brought to you by Red Hawk Casino. Red Hawk voted best more than 100 times. The Bulls defeated the Pistons 127 to 105. The Pistons officially have a franchise record 67 losses in the season. Yards. Uh, you have the Knicks beating the Celtics 118-109. Boston only their fourth home loss. Jalen Brunson with 39. Uh, later, the Warriors will be in Portland to take on the Blazers. It's the Kings and the Pelicans with a call. Here's the G-Man, Gary Gerald. Thanks for the perspective there with Detroit. 67 yeah. wins. That makes 45 wins look pretty doggone good right. at this right. juncture for the Sacramento Kings. The New Orleans Pelicans are coached by Willie Green, his third year in that role. Prior to New Orleans, he spent a couple of years as an assistant under Monty Williams with the Phoenix Suns. This after a 12-year playing career, really averaged better than eight points a game for five different clubs. His starting lineup tonight looks like this. <clears throat> Trey Murphy, 6'8 forward in his third year. He was drafted in the first round in 2017 by the Memphis Grizzlies, traded by Memphis in uh, August a couple of years ago. Now averaging 14 and a half points a game, shooting 37% from downtown, and that's his specialty. He cranked up a ton of threes. He uh, missed the first two games this year against Sacramento because of injury, but he's coming off a 31-point outing in the win against the Portland Trailblazers Tuesday night up north. Joining him on the front line will be Zion Williamson, now 23 years of age, in his fifth year. 6'6", 285 pounds, but he's still got tremendous athleticism. He's averaging 22.9 points per game, nearly six rebounds, dishing five assists. He's had some great games against Sacramento earlier this season. Zion and Murphy on the front line. Starting at center, Jonas Valanciunas, the seven-footer from Lithuania. Known well, of course, by the Kings' Demata Sabonis. They were exchanging pleasantries during pregame warm-ups a short time ago. Valanciunas this year averaging 12.5 points, nearly nine rebounds a contest. He's had double-doubles in all four games and all four New Orleans wins over Sacramento thus far this season. In the backcourt, Herb Jones is a 6'7 guard in his third year from Alabama. Terrific defender. He can also shoot the three extremely well. 42%, in fact, from downtown this season, averaging 11 points a game. Also one and a half steals per contest. And rounding out the starting five, C.J. McCollum, now in his 11th year, 6'3 guard from Lehigh, averaging a fraction under 20 points per game. CJ has made 218 three-point shots this season. That's a big number, and he's shooting 42% from three-point range. Pelicans, 47 wins, 32 losses. Their road record is better than their home court record by five wins. They're 26 and 14 on the road. That's the third best road record in the NBA. For the Sacramento Kings, nice to see Kevin Herter in the building this evening. And uh, the fact that, obviously, he has been sidelined for the season because of the shoulder surgery. But uh, in his spot, Keon Ellis continues to get a starting role alongside the Aaron Fox. Both of them knocked down between them 15 three-pointers in the loss in Oklahoma City two nights ago. Sabonis had his double-double streak broken after 61 straight games. He is the starting center. Harrison Barnes and Keegan Murray, of course, are the starting forwards for Sacramento. Kings record 45 and 34. Here on the home floor, 23 wins in the final three games to be played over the next four days. Here in this building, it'll be Phoenix tomorrow night and the Portland Trailblazers Sunday afternoon. Officials this evening in Sacramento, Zach Zarba in his 21st year, the lead official. Nick Bucket in his 14th season and Tennessee Ransom in his fifth year. They handle the whistles. They'll make the calls. Kings pounding out onto the floor wearing black uniforms, purple and gray. The accompanying colors, the numerals are in white. 
New Orleans. The visitors tonight wearing red, blue numbers trimmed in white as we get set to get this one underway. A Toyota tip-off is lurking. Zyber waiting here as everybody clears the floor in terms of uh, Slamson and photographers. Players get into position, and we are ready to play some NBA basketball. New Orleans with a two-game advantage over the Kings coming into this one. New Orleans in the number six spot, Sacramento in the number eight spot. As you can tell, terrific energy once again here at Golden One Center as this one is underway. The opening tip is controlled by the visitors from Louisiana. And Zion Williamson handles on the right wing with a dribble handoff. Gives it up now to Valanchunas, who comes to the left side. And in turn to C.J. McCollum. They enter to Valanchunas. He's working on Harrison Barnes now. Big body advantage. Gets in the paint. Here comes the double team, but it's too late. And Valanchunas scores the first two points on the post-up on the opening possession. Garen Fox being challenged as he brings the ball up the floor by Herb Jones. And Herb Jones can be a real thorn in your side. Fox has struggled in the four earlier games against the Pels. Here's Keegan Murray giving to Keon Ellis. The Sabonis now handles for the first time. The Keegan fakes the three, hesitates, not two on the clock. Has to turn, launch a two. It's off the front rim, no good. And Valanchunas steers the rebound to Zion. Accelerates with that big body at the free throw line. Bulldozes his way right into the rim, misses. And the rebound is tipped over to De'Aaron Fox. And Fox is on the move. He's looking for a seam. Spins into the lane. Kicks the pass out. It's deflected. Chased down at midcourt by Sabonis. Deflected again. Sabonis now comes up with it and feeds De'Aaron Fox. Eight on the possession to Harrison Barnes, left wing. Swing to the near side. At the elbow, Sabonis now. They're down to three on the possession. Sabonis got to go. Up fake, reaches around the defender. Shot. No good. Tripped up. Hits the floor. It's five on four Pelicans. Sabonis is now up. Here's a three on the way from McCollum. It's no good. Offensive rebound, Jones. Swings it back out. Reload. Three. Rims out. Sabonis keeps it alive and then gets the rebound and hooks the outlet pass to De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron works on the left angle and gets the double team, and the ball is poked away out of bounds. Henry, a lot of people don't realize that the New Orleans Pelicans are really good defensively. In terms of steals and deflections, they're among league leaders. Yeah, when you talk about um, you know, team defense, they got long guys, and they got guys who can really shoot the gap very well. The bonus at the free throw line has the ball deflected, stolen. Zion trying to go end to end, bulldozes his way to the rack and scores, and the Pelicans are off to a 4-0 start. Keegan Murray shovels a pass now to Sabonis. Starts right, goes left, gets at the left edge of the paint against Valanchunas, goes to the jump hook. It crawls off the iron. No good. He was in position, and there was only one defender to worry about. But the shot did not fall. Kings still haven't scored. Here's a drive and a kick. Zion going to launch a three. Front rim, no good. Valanchunas with the rebound. He's in the low post position. He bulldozes his way to the right, draws a foul, and scores. And this could very quickly be a 7-0 start for the Pelicans. They lead it 6 zip with an and one coming up here for Jonas Valanchunas. Big bodies is trying to establish their supremacy down inside. Pelicans are playing without the services tonight of Brandon Ingram, who averages nearly 21 points a game and has had a 25-point average in four games against Sacramento earlier this year. He has been sidelined for the last 10 and uh, getting closer to returning. A bone contusion in his left knee. The N1 was missed. Pelicans lead 6-0. Keon Ellis finds Sabonis. Deals at the three-point arc. Ball fake to the left. Hands to Fox. Steps right. Launches a three. Front rim short. Rebound claimed by Herb Jones. And the Pelicans are on the move. Backdoor cut. Here's a deflection by Fox on a pass to the corner to McCollum out of bounds. 18 on the possession after a quick transition push by New Orleans. We're at the 9.08 mark, and the Kings have yet to dent the scoreboard. Kind of an ominous start to this one. Inbounds comes to Valanchunas. Top of the foul circle to Zion. Now to the left angle of McCollum. Feeds it to the corner, gets a reset. Three-point range. Out to Williamson. Zion kicks to the corner. Got a three on the way. It's good. Knocked down by Trey Murphy. 
So it's now 9-0 in favor of the visitors and a murmur of concern at Golden 1 Center. Keon Ellis with a straightaway 21-footer. It's good. And it took them to the 840 mark virtually of the first quarter before they got their first points. 9-2 in favor of the Pelicans. Pass on the left wing. Jones has it. He drives on Keon Ellis, circles all the way inside. That'll be a goal 10 call on the Kings. They tried to get up there to block it too late and make it 11 to 2 in favor of the Pels. So they scored nine straight to start the game. Kings took three minutes and 15 plus seconds to get their first score from Keegan Murray. Now, let's see what they do on this trip. Fox pressured, gives it up to Sabonis, top of the circles. Familiar spot for him. Dribble handoff action to Barnes for three, and he scores the triple. Harrison Barnes knocks down the three pointer. So the Kings are two of six from the floor in the opening four minutes of this one, trailing 11 to five. Williamson on top, McCollum fakes the three, probes, steps back, shoots the three, scores the three. It's 14 to five in favor of the Pels. Fox working on the left angle, finds the seam, got an easy layup and he missed it. He scooped it with one hand and it just uh, was one of those that, you know, he makes nine times out of 10, but this time he didn't. Williamson with a post up inside. No match for the Kings. Timeout taken Mike Brown. And Zion makes it 16 to 5, and the Sacramento Kings find themselves in a double digit hole in the first four and a half minutes of the evening. This is the Kings Audio Network. Netflix is a joke radio brings you exclusive comedy specials and stand up from Netflix's massive library from the world's biggest comedians. He's Mick Jagger. I pitched him a joke and he went, no. Funny. We give you unparalleled access to Netflix's top premieres. And join Tom, Papa, and Fortune Feimster every day for interviews with the biggest names in comedy. <laughs> Netflix is a joke radio, channel 93. Search comedy on the all-new Sirius XM app. Massive news in the world of college basketball. John Calipari is leaving Kentucky. When the sports world is talking, nobody gives you more perspectives than the experts of Sirius XM. That is absolutely wild to me. Yeah, I was shocked. Here is the reaction on college sports radio. This is about resources, and that's what the game is about now. And expert analysis on SEC radio. I don't know who doesn't win in this situation. Live sports talk when you need it on Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. Amin El Hassan and Zach Harper bring you Inside the Front Office on NBA Insiders. The Bucks, even though they're struggling, as long as they believe in what's happening, that's the most important predictor for success. You can't just roll the ball out in the playoff. But have to believe when the games start mattering that we're going to get another level from the Bucks. Join NBA Insiders in the Executive Suite every Sunday, 10 to 1 p.m. Eastern on NBA Radio Channel 86 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The 2024 election on Sirius XM. The fight for our democracy. That's been the work of my first term. Thrilled to be back with thousands of proud American patriots. Where every voice matters. I'm as far left as you can get. This president has not complied with his oath. Left, right, center, decided or undecided. We have to use our voices. We have to stand up for what we believe. The only place for every perspective and your voice about your vote on Sirius XM. Mention that Kevin Ritter is in the house tonight, back with his teammates for the first time after undergoing the surgery for the torn labrum, dislocated left shoulder, down there in street clothes with a big sling, and uh, can only imagine how tough this is, Henry, for him, and having to watch the action and not be a part of it after in his sixth year suffering that injury. End the season averaging better than 10 points a game, made 123 triples, averaging also uh, right around four rebounds a contest. He did a lot of things that were very valuable and the teams right. have missed. And you know, G-Man, that's one of the worst things about being a professional athlete is being hurt and have to sit on the sideline and watch your brothers go to battle without you. You can't do anything about it. Kings are only two of seven to start this game, while the Pelicans have hit seven of 11. All five of the New Orleans starters have scored. They've outscored the Kings 10-0 in the paint in the opening four and a half minutes of this contest. So clearly, the Kings have got some work to do, probably the understatement of the evening. 
Coming out of the timeout, Kings will face some pressure on the inbounds pass to go the length of the floor. From our vantage point here at Golden One Center, the Kings to our right throughout the first half of play. Harrison Barnes takes the inbounds from Fox, jogs the dribble across the midcourt line, looking for and finding Keon Ellis at the logo. Ellis against C.J. McCollum, rolls to the right, swings back to Sabona, stop of the circle, dribble handoff, broken up by the Pels, deflected to the backcourt, chased down by Barnes, six on the possession, he digs to the right edge of the paint, pulls up, 10-footer, scores it. 16-7, off the dribble, the Black Falcon makes it a King's bucket, only the third one that they've nailed in now eight attempts. Jones gives it up to Williamson. Williamson creeping forward, three-point range, now in two-point range on the right wing. Hands it off. Here's a floater off the dribble. No good. Murphy rebounded by Sabonis, and Sabonis throws it ahead to Fox, almost behind him. Fox did a great job to save it. Gets into the paint, pulls up. Ten-footer, good at the dotted line. So the Kings trying to crawl their way back to respectability after going down by 11 at 16-5. to five. It's now 16-9. to nine. 35 seconds away from the midpoint of this first quarter. There's Jones shouldering for space. Draws a foul and scores it. No, offensive foul is called here. He lowered the shoulder on the drive, Henry, and I wasn't sure. Initially, I thought maybe they're going to allow him to score it. He lowered the shoulder, Angie, man, with that uh -huh. left hand. He hooked Keelan, I mean, Ke Keegan, and was able to get to the rim. So an opportunity for Sacramento to come right back now. They've scored in the last two trips. Here's Sabonis from Keon Ellis. Looks toward the left wing. Another DHO. Dribble handoff. Barnes for three. Rims this one out. And Valanchunas has the rebound for the Pelicans. Here's Jones now on the left wing in three-point range. Gives it up. Valanchunas to McCollum. Top of the circle. Looks for a cutter at Zion. Into the paint. Crashes into defenders. Missed it badly. It was a brick off the backboard, and it's chased down by Keon Ellis. And the Kings are on the move. Barnes quickly crosses the logo. The Keon gets a step on Zion. Goes all the way to the rack. Misses at the rim. Sabonis trying to keep it alive, but it's claimed by Herb Jones. Tough chance there. Missed by the Kings. Jones euros his way inside. Missed the little twister. Right side of the paint. Kings quickly come back. Fox circling now at the top of the arc to balance the floor. Screen from Sabonis to the left elbow. Looks it out to Keegan. Drives to the right. Behind the back dribble. Gets crashed into. And a good job on the up fake there by Keegan Murray drawing the foul from uh, Trey Murphy the third. The applause you may have been hearing in the background was from Henry Turner. You like that, huh? G-Man, great <laughs> basketball IQ, great awareness. We've been talking about the Kings finding their way to the line. Keegan makes a great move, pump fake, gets the man off his air, create the contact, and get to the free throw line. Great job, Keegan. First free throw is good from Keegan. Now we'll get our first substitutions of the ball game as Davion Mitchell and Colby Jones check in. Fox. I think as long as Sabonis is on the floor, Jonas is playing. Might as well. And again, you don't have Larry Nance, so you probably will extend his minutes. So again, you had that quick start. Now it's a 6-0 run for the Kings. 16-11 Pelicans. Murphy trying to post up Valanciunas, who has it left of the lane. Barnes is on him. Barnes is all over him. Now the double. Up top Herb. Straight away three. Around and down. Yeah, you got two You got two matchups that you have to like. Harrison Barnes trying to guard JV. And you've got Sabonis trying to guard Zion Williamson. So you've got two that you really should like a lot. Pels are now three of six from distance. Sabonis in deep, lost it, ball in the deck. He's sitting on the baseline when he got it back. And JV helps up his countrymen. <laughs> they have known each other Look, they since can, you, you can't Sabonis be was a, a tyke. You can't be helping up opponents. I don't care who he is. Well, I'm going to give JV that. I'm going to give it to him. Maybe he's got it again. Same spot, left block. There's the double, throws it out long, nearly stolen, but Herb's got it. Whip it out to Jose, fingers the seams for a white yeah. ring three Look, it's, down. It's going to be easy. If Harrison Barnes is going to guard Jonas Valanciunas, they're going to have to double team him. And all he's got to do is make the right play. But Davion Mitchell had it, got it to Sabonis, deflected by Herb. Somehow Sabonis got it back. And now Keegan Murray, screened by Sabonis, straightaway three. No good. Tipped up by White, taken by Alvarado, who's pushing the pace. 
Flip it to Murphy. Stop, pop, left wing three, no foul, yes. That is such a smart play by Jose Alvarado. Kind of lofted that one to Trey. Let him run under it for the open three. And not a good foul on that. Colby Jones, yeah, that's the rookie out of Xavier, commits the foul, and that's going to put Murphy on the line shooting three. I mean, you'd love to see it if you're the Pelicans, obviously, but not a smart foul to commit. First one is good. So, Hells lead 23-11 now with 4.03 left in the first quarter. You answer their 6-0 with a 7-0 of your own with two more free throws pending. Now, this is the way you answer, especially on the road. You know, you've got to do what you can to keep the crowd out of it. And this can be quite the rowdy crowd. I already hear the cowbell. <laughs> they have passed out. Little purple beams around the arena tonight as a giveaway. Trying to light the beam here as Murphy makes all three, Pell's up 25-11. Or we had a double dribble yeah, or a yeah. carry on Colby Jones. Herb Great defense by Herb. Yeah, Herb harassed him into it. So the turnovers are now three for the Kings, Pels have five points off turnovers. It's a 14 point lead with 350 to go in the first. And look, Pels are averaging 26 points off turnovers. Wow. They left the Murphy left. open. Oh, he right is. wing, and he just buried another three. He ain't the one to be leaving open. Coming off a five for 12 from three performance against Portland. Now Barnes for three right side. No good. Rebound Valanchunas. Aulet Alvarado. 12 0 run for New Orleans, looking for more. Jose, just across the timeline, left-hand dribble, get it to Trey again Open. for a heat check. Yes, sir, he hit it from Stockton. Cook him, Kenneth. I mean, he is wide open. Wide open, and dare I say, the Boo Birds are out in the first quarter here in Sacramento. Timeout on the floor. Trey Murphy's got nine straight points. 319 left in the first. Pels are up 31 to 11 on the Pelicans Radio Network. The biggest names in the NBA are on NBA Today with Justin Termini and Eddie Johnson. Uh, we're talking here with Nate McMillan, former Blazers, Sonic Pacers, and Hawks head coach. What's your take on NBA coming back this late in the season, coach? Conditioning is going to be the big key because you just can't duplicate, you know, playing in practice and, you know, playing in a game situation. NBA Today, weekdays from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern, only on Sirius XM NBA Radio Channel 86 and the all-new Sirius XM app. This is PGA Tour Pro Smiley Kaufman, and I'm happy to announce that you can now hear me on Sports Grid Radio. Just in time for the Masters, I'm bringing my show, The Smiley Show, to Channel 159, where I'll catch up with other golfers, athletes, and celebrities. John Rahm becomes the fourth Spaniard to win at Augusta. Join me every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. in the East on Sports Grid Radio. Channel 159 in your car and on the all-new SiriusXM app. Netflix is a joke radio brings you exclusive comedy specials and stand up from Netflix's massive library from the world's biggest comedians. He's Mick Jagger. I pitched him a joke and he went, not funny. We give you unparalleled access to Netflix's top premieres. And join Tom Papa and Fortune Finster every day for interviews with the biggest names in comedy. <laughs> Netflix is a joke radio channel 93. Search comedy on the all new Sirius XM app. Hey, this is Brian Geltziler. Wake up early with me in 2007 NBA Coach of the Year, Sam Mitchell, every Saturday morning from 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern as we break down everything NBA on Channel 86. There is no competition in soccer quite like the UEFA Champions League. And it's on Sirius XMFC. Kylian Mbappe delivering when it matters most. The stakes are higher now in the knockout stage where one goal can transform a club's trajectory. Jim Bellingham's driving, driving scores! And one performance can turn a star into an immortal. Erling Haaland has five! It's the Champions League knockout stage and all the top matches are on Sirius XMFC 157 and the all-new Sirius XM app. Money line, same game, parlays, it's all fine. You put a smile on your face. Bet on the sports you love with Bet River Sportsbook. Take a chance. Must be 21 plus. Available in Louisiana only. Void where prohibited. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler. Offered in partnership with Bossier Casino Venture Incorporated. DBA Margaritaville Resort Casino. Three nineteen. 
17 left first quarter. Pell's up 31 to 11. The distribution of tonight's game to our radio affiliate stations provided via satellite by the Satellite Center, the official radio network provider of your New Orleans Pelicans. Yeah, there is not a number that isn't favorable for the Pelicans right now, but I'll give you two. Three fourths turnovers for eight points and six of nine from three, including the last nine points by Trey Murphy, all threes. Uh, Mike Brown trying to push the right buttons here. He puts in Sasha Vazenkov and Alex Len. Vazenkov was DNPCD in their game in Oklahoma City a couple nights ago. As Fox just loses oh, it. Oh, here we go. Steel Z. Showtime, baby. Throw it down with the right hand. Hammer time. And again, Fox tries to make a spin move, and Zion's there. He well, just he, picked his pocket. Yeah, he got loose with it. He lost it. And it was a gift turnover. That's an offensive foul. On Alex Len, setting a screen. It is, I'm trying to think of the word, it's restless in here right now. Yeah, I mean, when the Pelt have the ball, it's like a Sunday church league. Pretty quiet. Let's keep them that way. I agree. Keep them disgruntled. All right, so Dyson Daniels will check in for Herb. Again, our defensive pressure has been relentless. Pels are on a 17-0 run here with three minutes left in the quarter. Keep the hammer down. CJ back in. Get it to Alvarado trying to post up Jonas. He's got it left of the lane. Let's see what Alex Lane can do against him. He's, He's pounding it. Him. Backing him down. Spins left. Baseline. Right. Short. Good. Foul Alex Lynn. They let everything go. <laughs> you talk about a water buffalo dance. I mean, those two guys were banging and banging and banging, and I'm sure the, the facility was shaking. And then they called a touch foul at the end. Yeah. I mean, that's playoff basketball. Now, he got him yeah, on the left it. wrist. But, I mean, all the body yeah. contact leading up to that could have been one, two, three, four fouls. As Jonas misses his second consecutive free throw. All right, baby. I mean, if you're going to make the gyrations, oh, you got to make the free throws. Hey, wait, the fans get crumble cookies with two oh, consecutive my. missed free throws? Can I give it to them early here tonight? No, those crumble cookies are about as expensive as a ticket. Ooh, that is a deep groan. I mean, when you think about it, though, he missed two straight, right? Not consecutively on the same trip. 34-11. Trying to give away somebody's crumbles. It ain't mine. Fox driving hard on Alvarado, spins in the lane, a little double clutch and floats it up with the left hand. So, De'Aaron Fox now has more points than he did in that game in January. Jose didn't did you hit the like button? Gamble. Come he on, missed. hit the like button and subscribe too. Now Join the family. Right back to Jonas again. Left of the lane. Back and down lane. Here we go again. Head fake. Running right hand hook. Didn't get the roll. Fight for the rebound. That's off Len, huh? No, it's off of Valentino. Well, I watched the Nature Channel and, and Two hippos they are. like that. I mean, <laughs> this is. <laughs> they are There's got to be some fouls there. No, evidently not. Mitchell lays it in with a left hand. I mean, I guess the good thing is if they're going to allow you to play, then you play through it on both ends. I'd like to see Yona start making those shots, though. It's been a little cold from those short ones. Trey, oh, he's driving hard. Hooks it out in the corner. Dyson flip it up There's top, Jose. Straight away three. Ooh. Almost an air ball. Almost. It hit the bottom breaking. of the backboard. Now Fox. Whip it out to Vazenkov. Bricks and left wing three. Rebound high in the air. Dyson Daniels. Pell's up 34-15 as McCollum is hacked. As he made a spin move He's and down. he ain't getting up. <laughs> He's on his back. So maybe they put Vazenkov in to take out McCollum. He's flexing his right leg. That's not good. Maybe knee to knee contact or something. But yeah, he's okay. Up. Maybe knee to thigh. He's going to flex that out, hopefully. They should be over the limit. Nope. They had one to give. One to give. We'll have to put a little Robitussin on that and keep it moving. All right. Valanchunas is going to take his first break of the quarter. With a minute 12 left, Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Dyson's got it. Out long to McCollum. Bounded by Mitchell. Got a pick from JRE. Drives into the hole. Kick it to Dyson. Extra pass tray. Fly by Mitchell. Step back straight away three. That's too strong. You could tell when he left his hand. So, 
Fox will take a left wing three and hit that. And it's 34 to 18. Oh, that's a good screen by Trey Lyles to get him open. A 7 nothing run by the Kings. That's a really good screen by Trey Lyles. Game of runs. 40 seconds left in the quarter. JRE throws it to nobody. Try to get Murphy. So, you played a pretty solid first quarter. Don't let it all go haywire here in the last minute. Well, Trey, and Trey faked him out. He, he, he went for the back cut, but then he stopped. And JRE bounced it, thinking he was going to continue on. And somebody pick up Fox, because he's going to let one fly here. He's straight away. There he goes. And Jose fouls him shooting a three. I, I mean, I called it before it even happened. That's a bad foul. Yeah. So you're going to give him three free throws here. So you had a 23-point lead, and that is whittled quickly. Well, he commits that foul on a shot that you're not going to block. Fox has made 300 free throws this year. He's 73%. So tough ending. Here to the first. And then we're in complete com control. Yeah, you don't want to see this guy get going. The last four games, he's averaging 30. 30 shooting 43% threes and four and a half assists and two, about two steals. 30.5 right, seconds left in the quarter. And again, you're going to give up three cheap points here. Yeah, three cheap points, the two for one. Everything that could be bad about that one pretty much was bad. So that's going to be a 10-0 run. So that 23-point lead went to 13 quick. Kessler Edwards has checked in. He didn't play against Oklahoma City. And Fox makes them all 34-21. Get a bucket here. Notice they started making the run because you stop making shots. McCollum left of the center circle, guarded by Mitchell, still dribbling with 10. Now right of the center circle with seven. Still dribbling. You got to do something here with three. Get it up now. CJ crosses over. A foul. Running right-hand floater, missed that. And now Fox is going to go coast to coast here to end the quarter. Yep, and we follow with 1.1. What a disaster. What a disastrous way to end the quarter. So we're going to give up now a 12-0 run in about a minute and a half. But it's all about the shots. The shots aren't falling anymore. That's the difference. Well, the shots aren't falling, but the shot selection has not been fantastic either. Man, 34-22. No, Maybe the Pels just got too comfortable. With a big lead. Yeah, I mean, it was 34-11. 23 points. Exhaled a little too soon. 12-0 run. 11-point lead. So just inbound it and get back to the bench and regroup. We'll do anything crazy here, and we won't. All right, we'll head to the second. 34-23 New Orleans on the Pelicans Radio Network. This season, there's gonna be a new name on the court around here because good doesn't cut it. Rates not enough. Let's be extraordinary. Keesler Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of the New Orleans Pelicans. Be extraordinary. Federally insured by NCUA. Membership eligibility required. Janet Jackson presents Together Again, live for one incredible night in New Orleans. Janet Jackson performing all her number one hits with special guest Nelly. Smoothie King Center, July 23rd. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Janet Jackson with special guest Nelly. For more, visit JanetJackson.com. Pels fans, did you know the best burger in New Orleans is actually in Metairie? Atomic Burger has become a fan favorite thanks to big, exciting flavors. People love their bacon jam burger, their Nashville hot chicken sandwich, and their Nutella marshmallow shake. Plus, they do everything right. They grind their beef in-house every day, hand cut their fries, and they won't start cooking until you place your order. Started right here in Louisiana, Atomic Burger has locations in Metairie, Baton Rouge, and Prairieville. Check them out. The NBA app is everyone's app. Every fan of every team. Oh, my goodness. 
everyone who follows LeBron, Tatum, and Embiid in the app. Every warrior who's ready to go to battle over three-point percentages. Every streetwear king who's here for the tunnel fits. Every young buck, nugget, and grizzly who wants to take a peek behind the scenes of the league. And everyone else on this floating basketball we call Earth. Download the NBA app today. Available in the Google Play, Apple app, and Android stores. Nate Barconti, the Be Funny Tour. I mean, Chuck E. Cheese is rough. I don't know if you've been there in a while. They look like they're trying to go to business and they can't. Uh, All new material. They filed for bankruptcy and they're still open. <laughs> they call Blockbuster and they're like, how do you get out? We want out. Nate Barconti, May 30th, Smoothie King Center. Tickets available at Ticketmaster.com. Produced by Outback Presents. Don't miss Nate Barconti, the Be Funny Tour. This season, there's going to be a new name on the court around here because good doesn't cut it. Rates, not enough. Let's be extraordinary. Keesler Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of the New Orleans Pelicans. Be extraordinary. Federally insured by NCUA. Membership eligibility required. Zion drives on Fournier, gets bumped, throws it up, got the roll with a left hand, flex that left bicep Z. Now, here's Todd Graffanini. Pels fans, tickets for the postseason are on sale today. We need you to pack the Smoothie King Center, bring all your energy, and one NOLA vibe to our exciting matchups. Don't miss out on these amazing moments with your Pelican squad as we begin our championship quest. Secure your seats now by visiting pelicans.com slash tickets. A win tonight assures no less than a seven seed in the Western Conference for the Pels. Of course, you're still looking for top six. Four and five are out. That's been clinched with the Clippers and the Mavericks. They still don't know who's going to play who, where. But a win tonight it assures you of no worse than seven. Yeah, and look, you want to get in the six, obviously. Of course. You want to be in the playoffs. But seven, you are assured of a play-in game, at least one in New Orleans. And if you need both of them, both of them will be in New Orleans. So you put yourself in decent position, at least start at home. All right, we start the second quarter. Sacramento with the ball and on a run. Fox for three, absolutely. So it is now a 15-0 run for the Kings. And unfortunately, De'Aaron Fox is on fire. Yeah, it's never going to be easy. All right, now Zion's back into the game. Spins left on Len, powers it up and in with a left oh hand. Oh, goodness. Back off, Alex. <laughs> you, 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 you're not going to get it done he there. He went right through him. The Aaron Fox has scored the last 10 yeah. Sacramento. And now Mitchell tries a layup. No rebound Z. Outlet to McCollum on the bounce feed. CJ, stop, pop. Left wing three. Good. Well, they didn't guard it. And that's good because Dyson Daniels flared to the left corner, so he forced the descend defender to make a decision. And the decision was to float with Dyson instead of pick up the guy with the ball. Two threes from McCollum. That's significant. We'll tell you in a second. He's got six points. 39-26. Now Fox double. Get it to Len. Whip it out left corner. Three ball Lyles. Back iron no good. Long rebound to Dyson. Pels are running. Jose. Get it to a slashing Najee Marshall to the rack. Welcome back. Nate yes, Gray. sir. <laughs> Welcome back. I mean, Najee, hard to the rim, and oh. the Pels out quickly. I mean, again, is this a game of runs or what? Yeah, these teams are going back and forth. This is a 7-0 Pelicans run. So neither team, it seems, is going to run away and hide from the other. 10-42 left second quarter. New Orleans 41, Sacramento 26. Gus Kengill will check on what the Warriors are doing in Portland when we come back on the Pelicans Radio Network. Entergy works for the moments you live for. The joy. Touchdown! The heart. Here's your boy. The wonder. And if we do this, our robot should. Oh, At Entergy, we're dedicated to powering each moment, today and for future generations. We're leading the way with a cleaner, more reliable grid to power every day. Because these moments matter. Your graduating class. We power life. Entergy. Chevron with Tecron has unbeatable engine cleaning power and it gives you unbeatable mileage for all kinds of unbeatable destinations like time in the sun at the beach or time in the sun riding roller coasters or a day in the sun hiking mountains. Well, probably just one mountain would be enough for a day, but hiking a mountain is still an unbeatable choice for how to spend time. Download the Chevron app now to get unbeatable mileage at locations near you. 
MidCity Smiles is proud to be the official dental care provider of the New Orleans Pelicans. Located in the heart of New Orleans, MidCity Smiles specializes in family dentistry, dental implants, cosmetic procedures, and is recognized as the leading area provider of Invisalign. Dr. Mark Anderson and his team invite you to visit their state-of-the-art office and become part of the MidCity Smiles family. Call 485-6575 or visit midcitysmiles.com today. We create winning smiles. Here we go. Tyler from Dude Perfect here. Big news. We just dropped our very own Dude Perfect smoothie with Smoothie King. Uh, we is strong. It's my recipe. Technically, we all came up with it, Kobe. I mean, you put a potato in yours. I was experimenting. Yeah, we picked up on that. Guys, this is fruit smoothie perfection. I even heard it recently quoted that it was food perfect. <laughs> yeah, I was the one that said that. Oh, it was, it was funny. Oh, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, get the Dude Perfect smoothie only at Smoothie King. My smoothie. Welcome back to Pelicans Basketball. Let's check tonight's NBA scoreboard. Bulls beat the Pistons in Detroit. The Knicks won at the Celtics. And guys, the Warriors and Trailblazers, we know Portland plays hard. Start of the second, Warriors 24, Trailblazers 22. All right, thanks, Gus. Keep an eye on that one. Of course, we'll be in San Francisco, Chase Center tomorrow night, where if everything plays out, well for New Orleans, of course, it starts tonight, but John, you would have a chance maybe to clinch that top six tomorrow, but again, you can't do that unless you win this game tonight. We've got 10.42 left second quarter, Pelicans 41, Sacramento 26. And the Pills apparently have locked back in on this game, 7-0 run. Zion Williamson comes back in and he makes a power layup through Alex Lynn, and then you get a fast break layup from Najee Marshall and you get a three point from C.J. McCollum, so hopefully the Pels have kind of rectified the situation. And Najee missed the last two games with shoulder soreness, but he's back in there. Dyson Daniels, Jose Alvarado, C.J. McCollum, Zion Williamson, and Najee Marshall on the floor. Fox up top, Vazenkov, lefty three. Back iron, long rebound, Najee running the break. Watch out from behind. Uh -huh. Najee, Najee, Najee. <laughs> the unforced turnover, he's looking for C.J. McCollum running behind him. He was too far behind to get that pass before it goes out of bounds. So you turn it over on a fast break. Keon Ellis for three, right corner, good. Ellis made eight threes in Oklahoma City, and many of them were just like that in the corner. That was a career high. Ellis is out there to shoot threes. He and takes three times as many threes as twos. So it comes off the turnover. Zion goes on Lynn. Lefty floater, no. He got to the rim. He just missed it. 41-29. Lynn did a good job of staying in front of him. Lyles for three. Right wing. And it's a single-digit lead. 41-32. Got to keep scoring. They're going to shoot a ton of threes. <laughs> and they're going to make, if they make their average of them, they're going to make about 16 of them. Billy Green will take a timeout. 9.41 left in the second. 41-32 New Orleans on the Pelicans Radio Network. Hey, this is Brian Geltzer from NBA Weekend. We had ESPN's Evan Cohen on with us, and he said he thinks Damian Lillard won't be in Milwaukee for very long. I don't think Dave's saying you have to get out of here. I think it's literally a human professional sit-down. I don't think he's out. out. This doesn't work out. I think it's a mutual one-and-done for Dame Lillard in Milwaukee. As crazy as that may sound. The best guests join me and Sam Mitchell every Saturday morning, 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern Time on NBA Radio. Channel 86 and on the all-new Sirius XM. Hear the Masters exclusively on Sirius XM. Hi, this is Mike Tirico, and there's nothing like the, the Masters. Masters. Rory McIlroy, he's thinking Grand Slam. The beauty of the Azaleas, the passion of the Patriots, and the best golfers in the world vying for a green jacket. They turned right into the cup for John Rahm. It all makes for one of the most iconic weekends in sports. Live coverage of the Masters continues tomorrow at 2 Eastern on Masters Radio, Channel 92 in the car, and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Massive news in the world of college basketball. John Calipari is leaving Kentucky. When the sports world is talking, nobody gives you more perspectives than the experts of Sirius XM. That is absolutely wild to me. Yeah, I was shocked. Here is the reaction on college sports radio. This is about resources, and that's what the game is about now. And expert analysis on SEC radio. I don't know who doesn't win in this situation. Live sports talk when you need it on Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. 
On the court, off the court, and on devices equipped with Amazon Alexa. For the best basketball insight, just say, Alexa, listen to NBA Radio on Sirius XM. Okay. Pick up the pace! Seeky got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Let's go. You ready, hotties? She's coming. Megan the Stallion. Hot Girl Summer Tour. Live in New Orleans. Smoothie King Center, June 10th. With special guest, Glorilla. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Megan D. Stallion. I'm about to stress them. Hot Girl Summer Tour. For more, hit up MeganDStallion.com. Hey, join us for the Pels regular season finale this Sunday, April 14th. We'll battle the Lakers to celebrate the best fans in the NBA. We'll be throwing a pregame party on Dave Dixon Drive. Fans in attendance will receive a special Jazz Fest inspired flag designed by Jazz Fest sign artist Non Parati, courtesy of drums while supplies last. Secure your tickets now by visiting pelicans.com slash promotions. Again, if you go down all the scenarios, this, that, I don't see any way we're going into that game where it's not gonna mean something for somebody. Absolutely, and, and really, Look, that's the way you want it. I, I, I like it that way. I like teams having to play for something at the in the last game of the season if, if you can't already clinch it and have something to play for. All right, Pell's ball out of the break. Trey Murphy up top Zion Williamson. Hand it off to C.J. McCollum. Chess it to Trey. Wide open left wing three. Back iron. And the rebound is tipped by Trey Lyles out of bounds far side. So they are leaving Trey wide open. I wouldn't suggest that, but he's just three for six. He's missed three of them. Yeah, but you put the two three-point shooters out there together, you get a screen for CJ, he comes off, he finds Trey who's open, and that's why, because you gotta help off on the other three-point shooter. Herb Jones back into the game, now Zion's got it. Bounce feed, and it's stolen anyway. De'Aaron Fox, dunks it in. Fox second in the league, two steals per game, another run, it's 8-0, bad guys, and the lead is down to seven. Well, they have an 8-0 run in this quarter, had a 12-0 run in the first quarter to finish it. Now Trey again, wide open, fakes the three, kick it to McCollum, left wing three, good. And that is three-pointer number 1,800 of C.J. McCollum's career. And he went over 500 threes as a Pelican in Portland two nights ago. As Fox got into the purple paint, kick it out long, Ellis for three. No good, fight for the board, Herb takes it away. Jones, front court, chest it to McCollum, left angle free. Yes. Oh, Christian. Yes. Please. A 6-0 run by the Pels to counter the 8-0 run by the Kings, and we're gonna need some Imodium in here if we keep on with all these runs. Is uh, anybody <laughs> going to have any timeouts left by the time this game is over? Because Mike Brown just took another one. We'll take it as well. I gotta, uh, gotta take a breath after that one. 47-34, New Orleans leads Sacramento here with 8.27 left in the second quarter on the Pelicans Radio Network. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace! SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Entergy works for the moments you live for, the joy. The heart. Here's your boy. The wonder. And if we do this, our robot should. Whoa. At Entergy, we're dedicated to powering each moment, today and for future generations. We're leading the way with a cleaner, more reliable grid to power every day. Because these moments matter. You're graduating class. We power life. Entergy. 
Three balls have been raining in Sacramento here for New Orleans. Nine of 15 to start this game. Three by Trey Murphy, now four by C.J. McCollum. Each of them have 12 points, and the Pels lead by 13 here with 8.25 to go in the third. Those already are the second to 15 fast break points in this game. Sack ball out of the break. Keegan Murray, Ellis, Lyles, Sabonis back in, and Fox. And Valanchunas back in to guard Sabonis as Fox will drive past everybody. Missed the shot, though. Sabonis will grab the rebound and lay it in, though. Yeah. That hurts. I think the Pels were in a zone defensively in a bit of a scramble, and Sabonis gets that rebound over Trey Murphy's back. So Sabonis now two points and five rebounds. It's his first bucket of the game. 47-36. Zion shovels to McCollum. He's on a heater, sizing up Ellis. Bounce feed now left elbow Z. Lost it, and it's easily taken away by Ellis. Zion wanted a foul. He ain't going to get it. He better get back defensively. Sabonis will dunk it in. Zion's still in the backcourt. Now the well, frontcourt. I mean, well, the, the milk has been spilled, so you got to go ahead and play. 47-38. Now Z. I like angry Z. Right corner Herb for three. Nope. Weak side rebound taken by Sabonis after a tap by Valanchunas. Now Fox weaves through traffic, shovels it to Lyle, steps into a three, short. Back tapped out to Herb Jones. Outlet to McCullum. CJ, bounce feed now, low post left Z. Doubled, tripled, goes up and down. That's right. Yep. That's, see, and that's the frustration. Now you want to force something to happen. They play you well defensively, and you end up turning it over anyway instead of running your offense if you're Zion Williams. You know what he's going to have to do? Start pulling up middies. Well, he's going to have to settle down. He's got to, you know, take a deep breath. And I think he's coming. Is he coming to the bench now? He said, Zion said something to Willie Green while he was walking back. Now, he's staying on the floor. I was like, wondering if he got a little dinged up. Yeah, it looks like he's shaking that left yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if Dyson's coming in for him or not. Uh, Davion Mitchell chests it over to Murray. Pop a three right at the top. In or out. Zom, boy, he went up angry for that rebound. 47-38 Pelicans, 6.45 left second quarter. Williamson shugs off Mitchell. Get it to Murphy. Whip it to McCullum. CJ splits defenders. Kick it out to Z. Back to Murphy, left wing, three ball online and hit again for Kenneth Murphy, the third. Trey with the relocation. He's on the right wing. He swings over to the left as Zion is driving, and that's a wide open jumper. 15 for Murphy. Mitchell answers. Top of the key. Straight away, in and out, pops up in the air and back down. That's the home shooter's best. Yes, it is. Here. Hells have 10 made threes in the first half. You better keep making them. Bad pass, Herb. Easily stolen. Ellis drives. Lays it in. Well, giving up the basketball pills now. Unfortunately, you need a timeout. That's seven turnovers and 12 points scored off those turnovers. And now you're not even leading in the points off turnovers category. Wow. Everything you were dominating early on is completely flipped. And here's the worst part of it. You have allowed this crowd in the game because they were booing them in the first quarter. So, like I said before, is anybody gonna have any timeouts left by the time this game ends? Because we just took another one. So nope. we've got six minutes left in the second quarter. This script has been flipped, and it's 50 to 43 now. Pelicans leading the Kings. Yeah, Pelicans just need to tidy up a bit. Now, Sacramento winning this quarter 20 to 16, but tidy up a bit. You don't need to be in a big, big rush offensively. I understand you like to play up-tempo, but one, you have to compose yourself if you're Zion Williams to make sure that you get the best look you can find offensively. And second, you got to hold on to the basketball because you're giving up run out. Well, Zion's Five turn ball turnover yeah. hurt. Z Zion's turned it over three times in this game, Herb twice. That's five of the seven. And like you said, you wouldn't have believed it about 20 minutes ago that Sacramento was actually going to have more points off turnovers than the Pelicans, but that's the case, 12 to 11. Yeah, Sacramento has settled down, and they're protecting the basketball, and the Pels are still playing loose and not protecting the basketball. So they've got to be a lot more diligent about that, and whatever it was that was bothering Zion Williamson, I guess it was something that required a substitution because Dyson Daniels is in for him. All right, so Herb 
Along with Murphy, McCollum, and notice now defensively, they've stepped it up. McCollum for three, clangs off to the left. Notice they're flying a little harder around defensively are the Kings now. Yeah, we let them back in the game. They're making shots. We let them back in. Mitchell to Ellis. Almost tried to drive. McCollum cut him off. Now shovels it to Keegan Murray. Spins right. Travel, they didn't call it. He did. Bounce feed to Sabonis. Back and down, Jonas. Floats it up, left hand, no. Rebound, JV. Hells up by seven here. 5.20 to go in the second quarter. We got a ball game now, folks. McCollum. Flip it to JV at the nail. Jumper. I splashed. Herb Jones wide open on the right wing, but JV says, I'll have this one myself. Sabonis brings out the best in Valanciunas. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Harrison Barnes, left baseline. Oh, he nearly walked. Somehow Did you hit the like button? Come on, hit the right. like button. It won't be a subscribe too. Nope. Join the, the family. Around pass uphill for an open three. So Davion Mitchell's got eight points on two of two from distance. They're seven of 17. And it's 52-46. Lee just shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. McCollum. Flip it up top, Trey. Fakes the three. Splits defenders, but a reach in on Keegan Murray, I believe. Yeah. Trey had a clean lane to try to ram it in, and you know, that's wrist on wrist. Belt had gotten deep into the shot clock. Wow, they're going to call that a shooting foul? That is not a shooting <laughs> That's not a shooting foul. line from my friend. Well, what Gus just told me ain't good. Zion just went back to the locker room. He slipped and he fell on his left wrist. Just saw it on a replay. Well, this team does not need any injuries already shorthanded. But the, that's the cards you got. Well, the next four and a half minutes are going to be very interesting to see if Williamson comes back out because if he does not, that is deep trouble. Deep trouble. Sabonis and one. Foul on Valanciunas. Uh, After Murphy off. made the two free throws, it's 54-48. But if Zion Williamson doesn't come back, I don't know. Oh, well, you're taking away your best offensive player. <laughs> that's, that's that. I mean, he's the guy who scores the vast majority of your paint points. So again, you saw him talk to Willie Green when he was coming off the floor. And then he stayed in, and then he left, and he went right into the locker room. Sabonis clangs the free throw and re rebounded with Murphy. Yeah, so everybody else is gonna have to play a little bit bigger. And you gotta get even more production from Trey Murphy and C.J. McCollum and Jonas Valanciunas. Again, you're running your offense through Williamson. Now you got to play in another way. The offense is at half court now. McCollum, shot clock at four, drives in, off the glass, running floater, no. Jonas went over the back, they didn't call it. Sabonis the rebound, up the four, Barnes back to Sabonis, kick it to Mitchell, good closeout, now up to Fox. Down low, Sabonis. Throws it up, no, inside the restricted arc. Rebound, Valanciunas is sixth. Yeah, and the Pelicans just basically having to gang up, but you got to be cleaner offensively. You can't start your offense at half court with six seconds left. Dyson Daniels, great bounce pass to Valanciunas in the lane, and he got clocked across the wrist by Davion Mitchell. That's what you got to have. Dyson Daniels gets down low, and he's able to basically reverse it around and bounce pass it to JV. 3.34 left here in a marathon second quarter. 54-48 New Orleans. Jonas has missed two free throws in this game. Not that time. So Valanciunas now 8.6 rebounds. He's already played 16 minutes. And he's going to play a lot more. I was about to say, yeah. He, hey, he, he should needs, be rested. Yeah, he needs to stay out of foul trouble, and he needs to stay on the floor. 20 minutes in Portland. Got that one. Yeah, and, a, and only played four in Phoenix. I was about to say, a well-rested four in Phoenix. And Pell's up by eight here with 325 left in the quarter. As Fox tried to cross over, and that got kicked yeah, by got Murphy. Fun. Yeah. Pell's All right. in that 2-3 zone, so let's see if they can plug it up here defensively for three-point range. Fox, Murray, Sabonis... 
Oh, man, he left Barnes. Nobody picked him up underneath the hoop. That was easy, well, easy. In the zone, and, zone, and jo Jonas Valanciunas comes out high and gives up that space behind him. 56-50. I'm actually going to be impressed if we lead at halftime the way it's going. Daniels. Get it out to Herb, extra pass McCollum, splits defenders, drives in, high look, right layup off the top of the box is good. That's tough stuff. Ooh, Dyson got trucked by Fox, no call. And now Fox bounce feed low to Mitchell, steal McCollum. Outlet pass to Murphy. Fox knocked that one away though, far side, and it'll stay with New Orleans. Yeah, that's a that's a good thought by CJ, but if he holds on to that and leads the break, then he's two on one. He tried to kick it out to Trey. And De'Aaron Fox, probably the fastest guy in the gym. You, you talk about closing speed. All right, so Pels will inbound it. We taking another timeout? <laughs> Not gonna have any timeouts left. <laughs> wow. All right, 2.44 here in the second. Pelicans 58, Sacramento 50. 60 second break on the Pelicans Radio Network. Here we go. Tyler from Dude Perfect here. Big news. We just dropped our very own Dude Perfect smoothie with Smoothie King. Uh, we is strong. It's my recipe. Technically, we all came up with it, Kobe. I mean, you put a potato in yours. I was experimenting. Yeah, we picked up on that. Guys, this is fruit smoothie perfection. I even heard it recently quoted that it was food perfect. <laughs> yeah, I was the one that said that. Oh, that was, that was funny. Oh, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, get the Dude Perfect smoothie only at Smoothie King. My smoothie. Nate Barkonce, the Be Funny Tour. I mean, Chuck E. Cheese is rough. I don't know if you've been there in a while. They look like they're trying to go to business and they can't. All new material. They filed for bankruptcy and they're still open. <laughs> they call Blockbuster and they're like, how do you get out? We want out. Nate Barkonce, May 30th, Smoothie King Center. Tickets available at Ticketmaster.com. Produced by Outback Presents. Don't miss Nate Barkonce, the Be Funny Tour. All right, Sacramento's used four timeouts here in the first half. The Pelicans with three. We've got 2.44 left in the second quarter. Hell's up 58.50. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Pelicans Radio Network. Hey, this is Brian Geltziler. Wake up early with me in 2007 NBA Coach of the Year, Sam Mitchell, every Saturday morning from 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern as we break down everything NBA on Channel 86. All right, Pell's ball out of the break. Daniels McCollum, who pops a nail jumper in that short, long rebound, Keegan Murray. Get it out to Harrison Barnes. Barnes crosses over Daniels, gets to the rim, reverse layup. That's easy. Nine points for Barnes. Yeah, they expect it. the help does come from Valentinus, but it comes on the front side, and Barnes able to get underneath the hoop for the reverse. Williamson is still in the locker room for the Pels. There's the another Pels. just ridiculous turnover. Murray for three. Front iron, rebound in by Sabonis. And like I said, I'm going to be shocked if we lead at halftime. It is completely falling apart. A live ball turnover. And it feels like every one of them have, has been a live ball turnover. McCollum. Weaves through traffic, kick it out to Dyson, extra pass Herb, takes the three, drives in, high off the glass, no. Back tapped out, and it's tipped to Murray, or Murphy, excuse me, who just knocked down a deep straightaway three. That's the ultimate chicken salad. Oh, that's a little, little volleyballing right there that worked out. So it's 61-54. Trey Murphy's got five threes now and 20 points in the first half. Kind of a quiet 20 and needed 20. Barnes again. Well, that this is all on. alone that, in the paint. That zone has come out a little bit too high, and Harrison Barnes is walking the baseline. 61 56, 120 left in the quarter. McCollum, bounce feed to Jonas. Extra pass, Dyson. Takes a hesitated three right wing and knocks it in. He who hesitates makes wing jumpers, I guess. <laughs> 12 he, made threes for New Orleans in he, the first half. He didn't look like he wanted to take that one. You got to drop that zone back a little bit. To, yeah, there you go. Sabonis so in deep, spins left, spins right, and Dyson just picks his pocket. Ripped it away and then throws it away. But Herb Jones got it back to Trey. Deep right wing three. Air ball. Yikes. Again, how can you complain? He's 
Five for nine you in the first half. You can't. I mean, that's the guy you want taking the shots. When he gets on those heaters, just every time he puts it up, you think it's going in. You don't, you don't feel bad about that shot at all. It was early, but you don't feel bad about that shot at all. All right, 40 seconds left in the second quarter. 64-56 Pelicans. Mitchell around a Sabonis pick. Kick it to Fox. Right wing three. Fun iron. Back tapped out to Barnes. And now they'll reset it here. Barnes, show and go. Dumps it to Sabonis. Left hand third on. If you can get any penetration against the zone, you're going to get a layup or a wide open jumper. One or the other. 64-58. 20 seconds left. So you got to put it up here. Shot clock, game clock, three apart. Don't give it up take it down to the shot clock buzzer no turnover McCollum dump it down oh we got a bailout yeah that is a bailout again just as I said it we were about to gift the turnover yeah I think they were holding Valanciunas on the roll uh, yeah Harrison Barnes yep. has got him Barnes has him. yeah he's got him hooked all right but they had a foul to give so now it's 6.2 seconds left and now you guarantee the last shot though in theory yeah. Let's not have a lap, live ball turnover right here. All right. Keon Ellis is in for Barnes. Herb's going to inbound at sideline left above the hash mark. Hell's up. 64-58. Inbound to McCullough. Mitchell in his hip. Bounce feed to Jonas. Drives in. He will brick a layup. Yikes. Again, please dunk the ball. Please dunk the ball. All right, well, quick start, bad ending, but you're up by six here at halftime. Yeah, you're making your threes if you're the Pelicans, and so that's what's really keeping you in the lead because now you have given up the ball often enough, eight turnovers, 14 points, to where you really helped pull the Kings back into this game. So hopefully, you got to be able to tighten up, hold on to the basketball, and we'll see what happens with Zion Williamson as we get into the second half. Yeah, that's the concern right now. Zion left with about five minutes left in the second quarter, went into the locker room with an apparent left wrist injury and did not come back. So thanks, TNT. You've done it again. We'll take a break. Come back. Gus Cadgill, Pelicans at the half. New Orleans 64, Sacramento 58. Thus returns late night in New Orleans after this on the Pelicans Radio Network. This season, there's going to be a new name on the court around here because good doesn't cut it. Rates not enough. Let's be extraordinary. Keesler Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of the New Orleans Pelicans. Be extraordinary. Federally insured by NCUA. Membership eligibility required. My personal favorite stories are when a young man comes in and you can see they're a little intimidated. This just happened last week. I saw the young man. I said, hey, what can I do to give you a hand? And he said, well, I'm here for an engagement ring, but I don't think I'm in the right place. So I got him to my desk, and within an hour, he had purchased an engagement ring, had spent a thousand dollars and he was treated like he spent a lot more and i'm sure we have a customer for life my name is ken friend of friend and company fine jewelers you've got a friend in the jewelry business maxwell in concert the serenade tour saturday october 19th at smoothie king center maxwell with special guest jasmine sullivan and October London. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. You don't miss Maxwell Live. SeatGeeks, the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action. So when he yells, what are you doing? He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. This season, there's going to be a new name on the court around here because good doesn't cut it. Rates not enough. Let's be extraordinary. Keesler Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of the New Orleans Pelicans. Be extraordinary. Federally insured by NCUA. Membership eligibility required.
Time now for Pelicans at the Half. Scores, highlights, stats, and more. Here's your host, Gus Kattengel. 64 to 58 is your halftime score. Gus Kattengel, Jim Eichenhofer back in the Smoothie King Center studios here as well. Trey Murphy leads all scores with 20 points. He has five threes. Jim would start here because we talked about if he was going to be able to continue that. And quite honestly, the Pels by as up by as much as 23 have needed those threes, especially late in the second quarter, to maintain that lead. Yeah, I mean, you love to see it, him have the kind of half that he had in already tonight. I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, Zion is obviously out with the wrist injury. Not sure yet the details of that or the significance of that. But, I mean, Trey had several heat check moments in the first half. You could tell the way he started the game that he was really feeling it. And he had a great game in Sacramento in the uh, in-season tournament quarterfinal in December. And it seems like he's back to the same Trey Murphy we saw that in that game. One of the things that we have seen is C.J. McCollum continue to shoot well. Four threes, 14 points. Nice to see that he's playing well. Yeah, I mean, he's been on a tear for the for quite some time now, for a couple weeks, maybe a game or two here or there we didn't shoot well. But other than that, I mean, he's been at a really high level for a nice stretch now. Um, yeah, Pelicans, great first half three-point shooting-wise. That was really the thing that carried them to the six-point lead that they have. Um, I love the way they started the game defensively. They were up nine nothing at the right off the bat, and I know the Kings made some a bunch of runs and obviously have made it a competitive game. But um, that they set the Pelicans set the tone with the way they started the game, and and hopefully that'll be something that they can just keep the lead throughout the second half. What was the main thing that you saw the difference between first quarter and second quarter? I thought De'Aaron Fox finally got rolling kind of towards the end of that first quarter and put the Pelicans' defense on their heels. It seemed like. The Pelicans had a step or two edge on Sacramento in the beginning of the game, and then all of a sudden that kind of evened out. And, you know, Sacramento was just able to get so much better, so many better looks at the basket. Sabonis also, I think, took advantage of the fact that Fox was getting into the paint. I mean, it's hard to keep Sabonis off the boards no matter what, but you give up some penetration and some guys getting into the middle of the lane, and it, it got even tougher for the Pelicans to keep him off the offensive boards in particular. Quick NBA scoreboard and a highlight or two. We come back. Pelicans lead at 64-58 at the half on the Pelicans Radio Network. Here we go. Tyler from Dude Perfect here. Big news. We just dropped our very own Dude Perfect smoothie with Smoothie King. Uh, we is strong. It's my recipe. Technically, we all came up with it, Kobe. I mean, you put a potato in yours. I was experimenting. Yeah, we picked up on that. Guys, this is fruit smoothie perfection. I even heard it recently quoted that it was food perfect. <laughs> yeah, I was the one that said that. Oh, it was, it was funny. Oh, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, get the Dude Perfect smoothie only at Smoothie King. My smoothie. This is old number eight, Archie Manning. Join me at Manning Sports Bar and Grill with award-winning burgers, 24 beers on tap, craft cocktails, 13-foot mega screens, 30 flat-screen TVs, plus recliners. Manning Sports Bar and Grill is where you'll catch me watching the games. Ready to be a legend of your own game? Head on over to Harris for 24-7 action-packed gaming, where the tables are hot, the dice are fast, and the slots are generous. Remember, you can't win if you don't play. See you soon. Must be 21 or older to enter. See no and gamble. No one to stop before you start. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-770-STOP. Hey, basketball fans. Ready to score some cash back? Tip off your shopping trips with the Ibotta app or browser extension and get cash back on groceries and more. Start with Ibotta to find offers at hundreds of your favorite retailers from groceries and home improvement to sporting goods and apparel. Then shop as usual in-store or online. The average saver earns over $100 per year. Download the free app or browser extension and start earning cash back today. Ibotta. Cash back made easy. Ibotta is a proud sponsor of the New Orleans Pelicans. CCI Productions is an XL printing, design, fabrication and installation, and finishing company known for their accuracy and precision in branding spaces and events. Let their team of graphic solutions specialists provide you with professional consultation, creative conceptualization, high quality production and expert execution. Learn more today at ccciproductions.io. CCI, official partner of the New Orleans Saints. Finals, the Knicks defeat the Celtics 118-109. The Bulls beat the Pistons 127-105. At the half, 49-46, Warriors over the Trailblazers. Jim, a surprise there? 
A little surprised that that game is that close, but I mean, we saw the Pelicans were down three at halftime against Portland the other night, and the Trailblazers really weren't able to sustain how well they played in the first half. So we'll see if they can do that tonight, if they can play a 48-minute game instead of a 24-minute game against the Warriors. Five minutes in the fourth, Rockets and Jazz knotted up at 113. We'll be back. Pelicans at the half on the Pelicans Radio Network. Pels fans, did you know the best burger in New Orleans is actually in Metairie? Atomic Burger has become a fan favorite thanks to big, exciting flavors. People love their bacon jam burger, their Nashville hot chicken sandwich, and their Nutella marshmallow shake. Plus, they do everything right. They grind their beef in-house every day, hand-cut their fries, and they won't start cooking until you place your order. Started right here in Louisiana, Atomic Burger has locations in Metairie, Baton Rouge, and Prairieville. Check them out. AmeriHealth Caritas Louisiana helps people get care, stay well, and build healthy communities. Our Medicaid plan offers a wide range of benefits to best meet your health needs and those of your family. Care is the heart of our work. And just like the Saints, our team is committed to excellence. Make AmeriHealth Caritas Louisiana your choice today. Learn more about the benefits of our Medicaid health plan by visiting care4la.com. That's care4la.com. Hi, this is Quentin. And this is Brianna. A little thing we love about Chick-fil-A chicken strips are how satisfying they are. The chicken strips are amazing. They're always filling, tender and juicy. Definitely one of my favorite things on the menu. My favorite thing is the last bite. The last bite is nice and juicy, and it's wrapped up in some crispy breading that keeps it nice and tasty. And being able to scoop up my Chick-fil-A sauce with it, it's just like the best part of the meal. It's an undefeated combo. Order the chicken strips on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real customers paid for their testimonials. Let's go. You ready, hotties? She's coming. Megan D. Stallion. Hot Girl Summer Tour. Live in New Orleans. Smoothie King Center, June 10th. With special guest, Glorilla. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Megan D. Stallion. I'm about to stress them. Hot Girl Summer Tour. For more, hit up MeganDStallion.com. Chevron with Tecron has unbeatable engine cleaning power, and it gives you unbeatable mileage for all kinds of unbeatable destinations, like time in the sun at the beach, or time in the sun riding roller coasters, or a day in the sun hiking mountains. Well, probably just one mountain would be enough for a day, but hiking a mountain is still an unbeatable choice for how to spend time. Download the Chevron app now to get unbeatable mileage at locations near you. Sixty-four fifty-eight, Pelicans with the lead. We'll see what's up with Zion Williamson. Five-minute mark in the second quarter. He went down, grabbed and looked at his wrist, went into the locker room per TNT. They showed him running into the locker room. We haven't heard anything since then. If he doesn't or does come back, regardless, what is the key Jim I can offer for the Pels in the second half? Yeah, I'm going to go with just getting back to the defensive intensity and effectiveness that you had in the first part of the first half. I mean, Sacramento ended up shooting 51% from the field in that half, which you would have never imagined based on the way that they started the game. So get back to the defense you played in the first five or six minutes of the game, and I think you'll be in good shape. All right, we'll see what takes place. John DeShazer, Todd Graffinini will have the call when we come back on the Pelicans Radio Network. The 2024 election on Sirius XM. The fight for our democracy. That's been the work of my first term. Thrilled to be back with thousands of proud American patriots. Where every voice matters. I'm as far left as you can get. This president has not complied with his oath. Left, right, center, decided, or undecided. We have to use our voices. We have to stand up for what we believe. The only place for every perspective and your voice about your vote on Sirius XM. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Larry Bird hit the shot with two seconds left. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we love 
rely on the leader in sports audio, Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. Amin El Hassan and Zach Harper bring you Inside the Front Office on NBA Insiders. The Bucks, even though they're struggling, as long as they believe in what's happening, that's the most important predictor for success. You can't just roll the ball out in a playoff. But have to believe when the games start mattering that we're going to get another level from the Bucks. Join NBA Insiders in the executive suite every Sunday, 10 to 1 p.m. Eastern on NBA Radio Channel 86 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Merging influences from Afropop to chamber music. Vampire Weekend helped reshape the sound of indie rock and alternative. As their fifth album, Only God Was Above Us, arrives, hear the story behind it. I just started playing this riff. This had the feel of a good, simple pop song. Alongside nearly two decades of indie classics. Vampire Weekend Radio, all month in the Sirius XM app. There is no competition in soccer quite like the UEFA Champions League. And it's on Sirius XM FC. Kylian Mbappe delivering when it matters most. The stakes are higher now in the knockout stage where one goal can transform a club's trajectory. Jim Bellingham's driving, driving scores! And one performance can turn a star into an immortal. Erling Haaland has five! It's the Champions League knockout stage and all the top matches are on Sirius XM FC 157 and the all-new Sirius XM app. Hey, this is Brian Geltziler. Wake up early with me in 2007 NBA coaching year Sam Mitchell every Saturday morning from 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern as we break down everything NBA on Channel 86. Janet Jackson performing all her number one hits with special guest Nelly. Smoothie King Center, July 23rd. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Janet Jackson with special guest Nelly. For more, visit JanetJackson.com. Chevron with Tecron has unbeatable engine cleaning power, and it gives you unbeatable mileage for all kinds of unbeatable destinations, like time in the sun at the beach, or time in the sun riding roller coasters, or a day in the sun hiking mountains. Well, probably just one mountain would be enough for a day, but hiking a mountain is still an unbeatable choice for how to spend time. Download the Chevron app now to get unbeatable mileage at locations near you. Back in Golden One Center, downtown Sacramento, California. Todd Graffinini with you. John DeShazer alongside. 64-58 New Orleans will start the third quarter. And J.D., a little bit of a brief exhale. Zion Williamson has come back from the locker room. He is in uniform. It appears will start the third quarter. Yeah, we've got to see how effective he's going to be because obviously he was effective, uh, affected enough to go to the locker room. So let's see how efficient he can be. Uh, obviously, Pels need him because they ran out scored 28 to 18 in the paint, and they were once winning this game scoring in the paint. You know that that is your main paint score. So hopefully he's back to being Zion Williamson that we know. New Orleans led by Trey Murphy who had 20 first half points. It's Trey's 12 20 point game of the year. You've needed all of them with the furious comeback. And would you have thought that you'd say, all right, we've got 12 threes, they've got seven <laughs> in this building and you're hanging on with the six point lead. Yeah, you'd have felt pretty good, but then the Pels got sloppy with the basketball, started turning it over, the line ball turnovers, eight turnovers, 14 points. And that left a team that was a little bit dormant because they had 11 points scored off their turnovers, I think, in the first quarter. And you kind of they made a couple of shots and then they start getting some breakout layups. And the next thing you know, here it is, a six point game. Each team with its starting five back out on the floor as we get set for the third quarter. De'Aaron Fox, Keon Ellis, Harrison Barnes, DeMontis Sabonis, Keegan Murray for the Kings. Jones, Williamson, Valanchunas, Murphy, and McCollum for the Pelicans. Sacramento ball moving right to left to start the third quarter. Murray drives left, shovels it to Harrison Barnes. Trey Murphy on the switch. Barnes hard to the rack, got to the dotted line, and that's a layup. 64-60, that is now 30 points in the paint for the Sacramento Kings. Harrison Barnes has scored six of them that we know of, a couple of uncontested layups behind the zone, and that little floater. Z, lane bounce feed to McCollum. Spins left at the nail, drives in, running right hand floater, no. Back tapped out by Sabonis to Murray. It's one-on-one with Trey Murphy. 
And he will float it up. No, volleyball back and taken by Valanchunas, who's running the break. Bounce feed to Z. Z jump feed to McCollum. Wide open, right corner three. Absolutely. Pels continue to rinse threes. Look, give that credit to Trey Murphy, who did not give up on that play. And then we just give up a run out to the rim by De'Aaron Fox, who we foul. You get a made three, and then they basically rush it right back down on you and get to the rim. And I understand De'Aaron Fox is a fast dude, but he shouldn't be that fast. Well, I mean, that looked like the end of the quarter. Yeah. That, like trying to beat a buzzer. Yeah, that is not the transition defense you want to see. Fox 17 first half points. First free throw is good. He's now six for six at the free throw line. He averages 26 and a half, and um, he's going to get there tonight, folks. Uh, don't think he's forgotten about scoring three. I, again, I was so stunned when I saw that the box score. I did not even want to say it out loud. He was one for ten from the field. I couldn't believe it. Oh, don't you, don't you dare think he doesn't remember that. 67-62 as he makes them both. Bell's up five. We've never trailed. Led by as many as 23, and they were booing him here at Golden One Center. Now Z crosses over Sabonis, lefty floater. Scoop style is good. I'm going to say that his wrist is okay then. And then Fox loses it in the front court. He's and had Fox a is, loose turnover. Fox is talking to the ref instead of getting back on defense. Herb Jones, right corner three. That's oh. way off. Way off. And the rebound. Harrison Barnes up the floor, Sabonis. Do a little hop, step, and a jump, and lays it in. And oh, he traveled. I don't know, Trey Yanks so here was, from under. I was right saying a hop, step, and a jump. Yeah, he was looking for the contact, and Trey did a good job of just retreating and kind of yanking the chair from under. That's exactly what he did. Ooh, boy. And then Trey took an elbow. They call it traveling, not a foul, people. I mean, they think that Sabonis got called for a foul. It was a travel. Now Jones, show and go. Kick it to Jonas, baseline jumper, 15 feet left side and good. De'Aaron Fox calls that. He went for the steal against Herb. Herb does the spin on him and drives down and get, finds Jonas on the baseline. Alan Tunis, 11 points, seven rebounds. We leave Harrison Barnes wide open, but he bricks a three, but Murray runs it down. Back to Sabonis, shovels it to Fox, extra pass Murray, another three. Line drive and good. Second chance point. Long shot lead to long rebounds, but you got to collect those rebounds. Murray's first three of the night. He's made as many as 11 this year. Now Z pulls up the little midi and gets the roll with help of rim and glass from the dotted line. Z midi. As long as he's got this element of his game, it's going to be tough to stop him. I mean, he, this, is, this is at the broken line. Yep. But most times he's not guarded there. People are waiting for him at the rim. So if he makes that shot and adds it, and then maybe expands it out two, three feet. And we were talking about in the first half, he's going to have to start pulling up. And his first or his second attempt of the third quarter, he did just that. Now let's see how the wrist is for the free throw. That's good. And it's nice to be able to, to go to that when your wrist might be a little bit sore. All right, four of the five starters now in double figures. And Herb Jones, who has not has five points, five rebounds, and five assists. All right, Pell's up 74-65 here, 9.20 to go third quarter. Murray, another three. That's barely off the front iron. Rebound Valanchunas, who's got eight. He's nearing a double-double. He's bringing it. He's got seven in the quarter so far. Now Trey, after a throw around the perimeter, misses a left wing three. And it's taken by Barnes. So Murphy now five of ten tonight. Murray drives into the left elbow, leans in, throw it over to Barnes. He'll go right baseline, get into the paint, float it up short. Rebound Valanchunas. Jones might have got a finger on that. that Maybe. Was, that was pretty short to be that close. Let's see if they credit him with a block. Valanchunas. Now Z, hard to the rack, floats it up. No. Jonas can't get there. Boy, he airballed that from two feet. Now Barnes front court to Fox. Extra pass Murray. Good close out her. Now low post left. Sabonis and another walk for Domas. I think, I think he did it again. Some, JV got away with some contact on that one. He's basically laying on him when he makes the catch. Let's Probably see. got him off balance. Oh, that's that's no doubt JV had both hands on him. And he probably got away with one. I didn't see a walk, to be quite honest. I don't think, you? yeah. If anything, JV got away with a foul. That's 10 turnovers now for the Kings. Bell's trying to get back up by double figures again. Zion, hard of the rim. Lost it on the way up. 
Another turnover for Z. Well, he's got to turn and move. Fox, good bounce pass. He's got to turn and move. Murray for three. Yep, right corner. You can't, get your, you can't get your defense balanced in transition if one of you guys is in the backcourt. They're 9 of 23 now from distance. Balls up 74-68. Williamson shovels to McCollum. Crosses over Ellis twice. Drives, floats it up from the nail. My goodness. Wow. Right hand, 15-foot floater, nothing but net. That was not a wise, <laughs> great shot, but that's just a shot maker. Now Fox for three, front iron. And that's a push off, loose ball foul on JV. So Sabone is starting to establish himself. Look, he's the best rebounder in the league at 13 a game. And he's starting to pile them up here. And he had that 61 game double double streak ended in OKC, not because of rebounds, because of points. He only got eight. And he, he, and he missed like three free throws. So that's what cost him. Oh, Murray throws up a prayer. No, taken away from Sabonis. And now Zion up the floor. Zion had a steam. Blocking foul called on Keon Ellis. I don't, that's a way to stop a fast break. And again, I give uh, Keon Ellis a red badge of courage right there. Look, he's got tread marks on him. I mean, he jumps in front of Zion Williamson. That's a truck going downhill. So first foul on Ellis, second team of the third quarter. Pell's up 76-68, 7-10 to go third quarter. Herb, right angle, three is short. Herb's really struggled about last month shooting threes. Fox will go into the lane, throw it out to Barnes. Murphy on the switch. Barnes around Sabonis. Bounce feed back to Domas. That's a truck. Herb will... Blocking foul in one, Sabonis. I thought Herb was going to take that charge. Instead, they call a blocking foul. I'd like to check his feet. Thought he was outside the arc. Yeah, I think, I think Sabonis slid to the side so Herb couldn't get a good angle for the charge. And that's the block. So again, you were this close, this close to really starting to establish yourself yet again. And in a blink, Sacramento is right back in it. Down six, timeout on the floor. 6.55 left in the third. New Orleans 76, Sacramento 70 on the Pelican Radio Network. Here we go. Tyler from Dude Perfect here. Big news. We just dropped our very own Dude Perfect smoothie with Smoothie King. Uh, we is strong. It's my recipe. Technically, we all came up with it, Kobe. I mean, you put a potato in yours. I was experimenting. Yeah, we picked up on that. Guys, this is fruit smoothie perfection. I even heard it recently quoted that it was food perfect. <laughs> yeah, I was the one that said that. Oh, it was, it was funny. Oh, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, get the Dude Perfect smoothie only at Smoothie King. My smoothie. Hey, basketball fans, ready to score some cash back? Tip off your shopping trips with the Ibotta app or browser extension and get cash back on groceries and more. Start with Ibotta to find offers at hundreds of your favorite retailers from groceries and home improvement to sporting goods and apparel. Then shop as usual in-store or online. The average saver earns over $100 per year. Download the free app or browser extension. Did you hit the like button? Cash back Come today. on, hit Ibotta. the like button. Cash back made Subscribe easy. Too. Ibotta is a Join proud sponsor of the New Orleans Pelican. Mmm, smell that? Of course you don't, because this is a radio ad. Zatarain's flavors are so bold, you don't even have to see the smoky paprika, savory garlic, or zesty bell peppers to be able to taste our delicious jambalaya or any of our other bold, craveable offerings. Mmm, Zatarain's. Bold like that. CCI Productions is an XL printing, design, fabrication and installation, and finishing company known for their accuracy and precision in branding spaces and events. Let their team of graphic solutions specialists provide you with professional consultation, creative conceptualization, high quality production, and expert execution. Learn more today at ccciproductions.io. CCI. Official partner of the New Orleans Saints. Let's go, pals. You're listening to the Pelicans Radio Network. Now, back to the action. Here's Todd Graffinini. 
Hey, the Saints have partnered with Seaside Events for the ultimate fan experience during the Saints Legends Fan Cruise. The all-inclusive seven-night Saints Legends Fan Cruise sets sail on April 6th through the 13th, 2025. Get up close and personal with Saints Legends such as Ricky Jackson, Fred McAfee, Tyrone Hughes, Pat Swilling, and 14 more iconic legends. Enjoy meals together, grab autographs, attend Chalk Talks in paradise. Visit NewOrleansSaints.com today for more info. JD, I'd like to go on that cruise, but that's the end of the basketball season. We're not going to be there. Yeah, I'd like to be occupied with the Pels playing Great games. Point. All right, 76-70 New Orleans. Again, Pels have not trailed in this game at a 23-point first quarter lead where they were booing their own here. It's the second time we've heard boo birds in this building this season. But this is very much a ball game now with 6.55 left in the third and a six-point lead. I never got a clear look on that Herb Jones block. Sabonis' so lefty free throw is rim glass good. So Domas now 12 points, nine rebounds, at 13 points, nine rebounds. He'll get that double-double with his next board. Likewise, fellow Lithuanian Jonas Valanciunas. Yeah, they've really extended defensively. Jonas and Sabonis going at it. Jonas spins left, now back right, right-hand floater. Too strong. Mm. Rebound Fox. Jonas is missing those shots also. Fox hook pass to Barnes, wide open. He'll drive through everybody, reverse it in with the left hand. That is so easy. Yeah, he got around Sabonis, and there was nothing left as a last line of defense. So it is down to a three-point lead. Zion, they're backing off of him. Let's see if he pulls up. Bounce feed to Jones, back to Z, right block. Backing down Sabonis, lost it on the way up. Reach in Domas, free throws coming up for Williamson. Yeah, he takes the rake across the wrist as he's backing down against the larger, taller defender anyway. And Sabonis. Sabonis is second. And that Fox who reaches in. Oh, okay. No, they, they gave it to Sabonis. I don't see any type as Williamson's free throw is good. I don't see Zion favoring that wrist at all. No, I don't think so. Probably just a skier. Yeah. Hopefully just a skier. But again, he's not wearing any type of tape. Now he's got that left middle finger taped. Second free throw is good. 78-73. Pelicans by five. We got a long way to go here in Sacktown. 6.06 left first quarter, or third quarter, excuse me. Fox, Barnes, Ellis, Sabonis, Murray, starting five. Uh, Earth's gotta be careful, that's his fourth foul. Wow. Before I could get it out. It's almost like we speak it into existence sometimes. He's he guarding the air and Fox, baseline to baseline. And it's hard enough. <laughs> to guard him at all, but when you put yourself in a precarious position, you pick up a cheap foul, as he just did. Again, Mike Brown is really going into the bag of tricks here. We're seeing some of these guys come off the bench that did not even sniff the game against Oklahoma City. One of those is Chris Forte. Went to the bench in the first quarter, and those guys helped him come back. That's Reaching okay. Alvarado. Yeah. Is that gonna be a shooting foul? We're over the limit anyway, yeah. doesn't matter. So we're out of fouls, folks. We got a lot of time in the game. Yes, we do. 5.53 left in the third. By the way, they're 10 of 11, we're 11 of 13, so no real difference there. Free throw good. This is not a good free throw shooting team. As a matter of fact, it's worse than the lead, but not tonight. It's 74% as a team. I think my head would have exploded. Yeah, there it is. Back of the baseball card, but then Murray gets the rebound. That doesn't help. Murray jumps it out to Mitchell, baseline, and then a reverse layup by Harrison Barnes, and that is literal worst-case scenario. Yeah. You give up a three-point play because you can't rebound a missed free throw. Now a foul the other way. They're starting to call it tight. Yeah, that's Barnes grabbing Trey Murphy. By the way, that was the loudest this building has been. So they are in full throat here at Golden One Center. As that foul was on Keegan Murray, his second, 14. Yeah, Keegan Murray on the show. Yeah, 
Trey Murphy. Get it to Williamson. Zion pulls up from the Ooh, free the throw line. The midi. We saw him working on this shot today in the shoot around. I mean, right at the nail. And Zion's got 11 in the quarter. 80 to 76, 17 overall for Z. Now Mitchell around Sabonis. Whip it left corner, Barnes for three. Around and out. And boy, Jonas just picked up his double-double with a one-hand rebound. His 33rd double-double of the year. Zion hard to the rack, left baseline. Triple teamed and fouled. But once he turns the corner yep. and the defense has to rotate over to help, he's going to draw fouls because he's going to force the contact as he did there. Once he beat Murray, then Sabonis was just in a bad position to defend him. So Sabonis got the foul going up because Murray blocked the shot clean, but the foul was committed prior to that. So Williamson back to the line. But when you think about it, I mean, once he turns the corner, makes the first foul shot, who wants to stand and take a charge from him? Well, Keon Ellis tried. Yeah, well, you saw what happened to him. And if, <laughs> and if I'm watching him, I'm thinking, you know what? What happened to him, I don't want to happen to me. Well, thought it was going to happen tonight, and it is. Cody Zeller has come off the bench, coming in for Jonas Valanciunas. These are not mop-up minutes for Cody. These are meaningful as Williamson knocks them both down. So no Jeremiah Robinson Earl, no Najee Marshall here first off the bench in the third. Yeah, Cody got in the last two minutes against Portland. Yeah, 82-76. Mitchell underneath the hoop, right block. Throw it out long, three ball Duarte. Brick City. Rebound Cody Zeller. With Instant the, dividends. If one thing is going to happen, he's going to rebound. Rebound and set screens. Williamson spins left, drives in, and again, setting the screen was Cody Zeller. He kept Sabonis away, just laid his body on him and kept him out of the lane. He's already done enough. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly <laughs> what he's on the floor to do. Now Duarte powers in, spins right, nobody home, kick it out long, Mitchell, he spins left, and now around the perimeter to Barnes. Barnes, boy, what a cheap foul that was. And that's a reach in on Dyson, I believe. So it's 84-76. Williamson is on a heater. He's got eight straight points and 15 in the third, 21 overall. And remember, we thought he was hurt. Well, you know what? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And right now he's doing exactly what he's got to do. Free throw Harrison Barnes is good. I mean, this is the game. If it's game 15, maybe you sit him the rest of the game. But we're so deep into the season, and the Pels trying to hold on to that sixth spot. Harrison Barnes makes the second. That Z's pretty much got to play. If he can play, he's got to go. 84-78. We've got four minutes left in the third. Again, we got a long way to go. Williamson found Trey Murphy. Murphy shovels to Zeller back to Z. Z, one-on-one -on -one with Sabonis. Takes it right at him. Hangs in the air. Missed the floater, though. Off the window. Rebound Mitchell. Mitchell to Sabonis, he carried it. They didn't call it back to Mitchell. Extra pass Barnes, crosses over into the paint, threw it out long Duarte, right angle free, back iron, rebound tipped off Sabonis. of Sabonis. Yeah, off Woo. Sabonis. Man. That's a pretty good ball movement. They got the wide open shot that they were looking for. So Duarte's coming in the game. Boy, that might have been off of Jose. Duarte's coming in the game and missed two threes. They're nine of 27. Trey has it just easily taken away by Fox. He's going to run the break. Oh, it blocked from behind by Williamson. Taken by Murphy. Throws it up the floor to Jose. Stop, pop, right corner. Three. What a sequence that was. What in the world was that? Jose had no business taking that shot in front of the Pell's bench. Off the fast break. He's the only guy down the court. But it started with the Williamson block. Barnes left corner three, of course. And Zion just made an expression exactly like I just said it. Can you believe that? That was an exasperation. Like, you know what? After all that work. Exactly. We, yeah. You get nothing out of it. You're basically just traded possessions. Now Zion in hard, powers in right in front of Barnes's grill and lays it in with a left hand. Well, we've seen that's an offensive foul. It's got to be. It's Great a, call. And As De'Aaron Fox. And a technical foul. Yeah. Yep. And he might get tossed because he said, out. he said a naughty word. Come on, Zach. Ooh. 
I don't think he tossed him, but he said he said a bad word. I thought Zach Zarba did two tees. Now, Fox just yeah. put his left shoulder in Dyson's right shoulder. Well, he and throws the ball at the official. Did they say second technical foul? I could not hear. All right, we're going to sort this out. I don't see They might have thrown. I don't see him leaving. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll take a timeout and assess this. 89-81 New Orleans, 2.35 left third quarter. We're back. We'll give you an explanation after this on the Pelicans Radio Network. The greatest guitarist is Eddie Van Halen. What about Prince? You have to include Slash and Jimmy Page. B.B. King and Bonnie Raitt. The Edge changed everything. The debate continues with rebellious riffs and six-string solos on the SiriusXM Guitar Greats channel. All hail International Guitar Month. Sirius XM Guitar Grades on Channel 107 and year-round on the Sirius XM app. Get closer to everything that moves you, wherever you are. The biggest names in the NBA all stop by the starting lineup. The legend had a storm. By the way, I'm super excited to be on your show. I listen to you guys all the time. So be honest. You think Frank on this show is exactly how he is in real life? Because a lot of people ask me that question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell them that. I say that's exactly how he is. It's not a bit. Hear more great guests on the starting lineup every weekday morning from 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern on Sirius XM NBA Radio, Channel 86 in the car, and on the all-new Sirius XM app. This is PGA Tour Pro Smiley Kaufman, and I'm happy to announce that you can now hear me on Sports Grid Radio. Just in time for the Masters, I'm bringing my show, The Smiley Show, to Channel 159, where I'll catch up with other golfers, athletes, and celebrities. John Rahm becomes the fourth Spaniard to win at Augusta. Join me every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. in the East on Sports Grid Radio. Channel 159 in your car and on the all-new SiriusXM app. A giant thank you to the entire Octane community for keeping rock alive. Turn up New Hard Rock. Turn up Octane. Channel 37 and on the Sirius XM app. The biggest names in the NBA are on NBA Today with Justin Termini and Eddie Johnson. Uh, we're talking here with Nate McMillan, former Blazers, Sonic Pacers, and Hawks head coach. What's your take on NBA coming back this late in the season, coach? Conditioning is going to be the big key because you just can't duplicate, you know, playing in practice and, you know, playing in a game situation. NBA Today, weekdays from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern, only on Sirius XM NBA Radio Channel 86 and the all-new Sirius XM app. On the court, off the court, and on devices equipped with Amazon Alexa. For the best basketball insight, just say, Alexa, listen to NBA Radio on Sirius XM. Okay. Out of the break, it's 89-81 New Orleans, 2.35 left. A personal foul was called on De'Aaron Fox. That was his second, and then Fox was teed up by Zach Zarba. And then Willie Green was petitioning for an ejection, but we're not that lucky. Well, when he picked up the personal foul, he turns around... Trey, the technical out of the break, good. Turns, turns around and, well, first he throws the basketball to the official, not, or it kind of throws it at him. And then he says a few bad words. And so that's where Willie Green was saying he ought to kick him out. Zion's got 15 in the quarter, so let's see. And he's looking for more. He's taking it right at Trey Lyles. He got into the paint, threw it out to Zeller. Now back out long to Alvarado, around a Zeller pick. Jose. Start, stop, spins right, double pump, throws up a prayer. Why, Jose? That is not what you want. Why? That is not what you want. That's doing too much right Yes, here. it is. Alex Lennon in the ball game for the Kings, along with Mitchell, Murray, Fox, and Lyles. Hells up nine here, two minutes left in the third. Mitchell, pop a right elbow jumper. So Davion Mitchell now in double figures with 10. He averages five. The Pels can't really afford a whole lot of loose possession. No. That last one was pretty loose. Oh, Z drives it at Lyle. Kick it right corner. Daniels for three. That's off the mark. Weak side rebound. Maybe on Mitchell. Oh, he traveled. Oh, and Zion just stole it. Yeah. To Jose. Left of the top three. Buried it. Jose, 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 Jose. Jose off these turnovers. 
and now he's three of four from three. Now Fox just bulldozed that's, Zeller. That? That's got to be Lost something. it out of bounds. That's Pelican's ball. We got to well, dice it. They're going to challenge, and the, yep. the Pels are going to challenge. It's got to be Pelican's ball. It's it, got to be. It should have been an offensive foul. Did he plow through Zeller? Is that who he ran through? All right, we're going to have to see a replay here because Zeller might have been in the restricted arc. Regardless, Zeller, we're going to challenge Zeller's this. Got to fix his goggles. He's taking them <laughs> off. Uh, he might have broke the strap. I don't know. Yeah, but... Ruling on the floor is Sacramento basketball. New Orleans is challenging the yeah. win. See, again, thanks, Zach. Um, what, what just... I'm going to let this play out because we still haven't seen a replay yet. I just don't understand how, if you're Fennessey Ransom, you're standing two, two feet away from that and you cannot see that that was off of Fox. Well, I mean, this ain't exactly the best vantage point, and that was pretty evident. Well, before that happened, either he ran over him or he had a blocking foul. This, is, qu this is quick. After the ruling's been overturned to New Orleans, basketball is a successful challenge. New Orleans gets their timeout back and retains the right to challenge into the play. Again, we can see that up here with a telescope. Yeah. Pell's jumped on that pretty early. I mean, I, every, you, you saw the finger twirl early, you know, like it was, like it was, you know, Saturday Night Fever. I mean, everybody's <laughs> twirling the finger. You know, Parker's on a roll tonight. Trying now, to get, now, wait a second. Trying to get that replay. All right, I, I, I thought Cody Zeller was going to come out there without a mask. Put that mask on, number 40. There you go. Zeller, four minutes. Set a screen that got Zion a layup and he, had a rebound. He needs to get a dark mask and just say, <laughs> Exactly. I knew that was coming. <laughs> All right, Williamson, who's played every minute of this third quarter. Dyson Daniels, Jose Alvarado, C.J. McCollum, and Cody Zeller. And well rested because he went out early in the second quarter yes, with that is. injury. That's true. All right, Williamson picked up his dribble in front of the center circle. Got to get it to somebody. Got it to C.J. Now back to Z. Shot clock at 8. Williamson chests it over to Dyson. Right wing three. Too short. Well, you got to make a box. Williamson nearly picked Fox's pocket. Then Lyles will make a three left wing. Yeah, he just stepped in two or three right there. They're never going to be out of it, Sacramento, because they shoot the three too well. But when Zion Williamson is playing this way, unselfish, you got to make him right. You got to make that shot when he passes. Now McCullum to Daniels, right corner three. Yeah, That's do. how you make him right. He's due. He's due. Hey, he is putting them up. He's, he's two of four he's now. He's been shooting it better, and he is due. He is not hesitating. 96-86, Mitchell held by Cody. Zeller. So free throws coming up. Free throws starting to pile up on the other team. Ladies and gents, as Trey Murphy will quickly hop off the bench here. We've got 33.8 seconds left in the third, so we can go two for one here if we want to. Yeah, if you hurry, but you still, I think, you know, just slow it down and get a good one. Mitchell's free throw is good. Mitchell shoots 73%, so they are way above their pay grade tonight are the Kings from the free throw line. Now, Cody comes out, so you got to be able to rebound if he missed the foul shot because now you have you know, Zion playing the center and you don't have a whole lot of size out here. I'm not exaggerating. Zion Williamson might play the rest of the game. He might not come out. Oh, why not? Why not? We're he talking played about 40 minutes in Phoenix. We've been talking about the improved fitness. Second free throw, no good, and we rebounded. Yeah, we've been talking about the improved fitness and it might have to show in this game. All right, we're not going to go two for one here. So you've got a nine point lead here. Shot clock at 10, game clock at 20. Let's see what Z's gonna do. Drive hard into the rim and finger roll oh it in with a left hand. My goodness, <laughs> That's my what goodness. he's gonna do. Keegan Murray said, I want none of this. 25 for Big Z, Pell's back up by 11. Game clock at six, De'Aaron Fox into the paint, floats it up and in over the left side of the iron. Inbound to McCollum with two, with one. Dyson Daniels half court. Sure. We go to the fourth, Pelicans 98, Sacramento 89 on the Pelicans Radio Network. Amin El Hassan and Zach Harper bring you Inside the Front Office on NBA Insiders. The Bucks, even though they're struggling, as long as they believe in what's happening, that's the most important predictor for success. You can't just roll the ball out in the playoff. I have to believe when the games start mattering that we're going to get another level from the Bucks. Join NBA Insiders in the executive suite every Sunday, 10 to 1 p.m. Eastern on NBA Radio Channel 86 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. 
massive news in the world of college basketball. John Calipari is leaving Kentucky. When the sports world is talking, nobody gives you more perspectives than the experts of Sirius XM. That is absolutely wild to me. Gee, I was shocked. Hear instant reaction on college sports radio. This is about resources, and that's what the game is about now. And expert analysis on SEC radio. I don't know who doesn't win in this situation. Live sports talk when you need it on Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. Hey, this is Brian Geltziler. Wake up early with me in 2007 NBA Coach of the Year Sam Mitchell every Saturday morning from 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern as we break down everything NBA on Channel 86. There is no competition in soccer quite like the UEFA Champions League. And it's on Sirius XM FC. Kylian Mbappe delivering when it matters most. The stakes are higher now in the knockout stage where one goal can transform a club's trajectory. Jude Bellingham's driving, driving scores! And one performance can turn a star into an immortal. Erling Haaland has five! It's the Champions League knockout stage and all the top matches are on Sirius XM FC 157 and the all-new Sirius XM app. With unique designs by Fanatics. Nike and all the latest styles for every NBA team, plus one-of-a-kind products and authentic collectibles. Shop now and get today's special offer, nbastore.com, a Fanatics experience. This is New Orleans Pelicans basketball on the Pelicans radio network. Now, back to the action. All right, we head to the fourth quarter. Pelicans with a 98-89 lead here in Sacramento, and this is a rather large 12 minutes of basketball coming up, J.P. Yeah, absolutely. We're probably going to get down to clutch time, but meanwhile, the third quarter was the quarter of Z. 17 points, 6 of 8 from the field, 5 of 5 from the line, and the man came back after injuring that wrist going in before halftime and has come out and has looked non-affected because he has been fantastic in this game. In addition to the 25 points, got six assists, too. He will start the third quarter on the bench. As everybody is up here waving their purple beans that they want to light here tonight after the game, if they get a W, the Pels trying to prevent that in a big-time way. Again, if the Pels can hold them off, you are assured no worse than seventh in the Western Conference, but you keep your destiny in your own hands for the final two games of the regular season. And Sacramento picking up full court defensively. The Pels are going to have to handle that pressure, and this offensive lineup is going to have to work with and for one another. you got to set some screens and get, get your guys open. All right, Dyson's going to run the point here along with C.J. McCollum, Trey Murphy, Jose Alvarado. And Jonas Valanciunas. They are on their feet. Now they're sitting back down here. Get a bucket. McCollum off the curl. Bounce feed to Jonas. Nail jumper. Sit down. Nice. Dude. Sit nice. down. Jonas set that initial screen that got CJ open. CJ makes the curl and passes back uphill to Jonas, who's wide open. Valanciunas has his 33rd double double tonight. 13 points, 10 rebounds. The Aaron Fox jump feed out long. Vucevic now get it down to Lyles in the paint to Lynn on the right hand. Layer too easy. So they've got Mitchell, Vazenkov, Fox, Lyles, and Len. Bell's up nine. 50 seconds gone in the fourth. Dyson. Throw it out long to McCullum. Pop a right wing three. Hit it. CJ. Six made threes now. 22 points. Look at Getter continues to get buckets. Fox. Oh, don't be nope. They didn't fall for it. He leaned in, missed the shot, taken by Dyson, who's running the break. Kick it to Jose, right corner three, hits the side of the backboard, but it was so bad it came right back to him, to Dyson. Low post left, Jonas, fouled by Vazenko. Oh, oh, no. No. All right, you got to get back. Willie Green saying, don't worry about it, get back. You know what? I guess that's justice, because if we'd have gotten a bucket after that shot by Alvarado, that would have been dirty pool. <laughs> that shot was so bad, he, it was like a pass to himself off the corner of the back. Yeah, you're right. It was it was so bad, the only person who could get it was him. At least he knew it was coming back to him. Fox, guarded by McCullum, chest it over to Vazenkov for three. Lane throws it in. Oh, he shot that one with Dyson Daniels staring at him. 
Yikes. All he's going to do is out there taking threes as Lynn fouls Valanchunas. So Lynn committing that foul. We'll take it. And that is not a good decision. Fouled Valanchunas above the three-point line. When Jones was just dribbling for a handoff. All right, so Murphy, sideline left, inbound Alvarado. Get it out long, Dyson Daniels. Trying to get McCollum free. Instead, got Jonas right corner. Fakes the three. Spins left. Cut off, though. Get it out long to Dyson. Crosses over Vazenkov. Drives in. Throw it out to Alvarado. Get it back to McCollum for three. Left wing. He barely even caught it before he put it up. He knew exactly where the shot clock was and knew he had to get it up quick. Now Ellis. Cross court over to Vazenkov up top to Fox. Right wing three. Run iron. Rebound. Volleyball to McCollum. Hells up 106-94 with 9.40 to go. Jose all the way in. Lays it in over the front iron. Let's see if Mike Brown takes a timeout. That is a fantastic pass from CJ to catch Jose streaking down the middle. I don't know. They only got two left. Len, oh, great bounce feed. They've been wearing off. that baseline out. Just wearing it out. They're running the baseline, getting layup after layup. We saw Harrison Barnes doing it in the first half, and now here's another one. Zankoff's got five points here now in the quarter. 108, 96, New Orleans, 9, 10 to go. Jose, they left him open. I got it to McCollum. CJ's got seven threes in this game. He'll go right wing. He will step to the right, take another one. Nope. And that's going to clang out of bounds far side. Pels have 18 made threes in this game, and it ain't enough. 18 to 35. And it's not enough. You still sweat. Exactly. <laughs> 9.01 to go. I mean, that is a long way to go. I mean, that's a tribute to Sacramento. It is. Because ordinarily, 18 threes for the Pels. Oh, come on. Is a blowout game. Fox, we just let him go to the rim. I mean, just let him go right to the rim. Lays it in. Yeah, you got to get him out higher than that. Fox has 23. And Alvarado to McCollum. Post up Jonas. Lost it. Falls on the deck. Still has it, though, on his belly. Oh, what a pass. McCollum oh, my to a slicing Dyson Daniels. Came in from the left side and dunked it in. How did CJ find him? Well, Valanciunas does not get any correct on that. He doesn't get the hockey assist. But he's able to get it to CJ, and then Dyson does the great thing. And then Dyson just stripped Fox. Up the floor, Alvarado, alley -oop Trey. Throw it down, Trey Murphy! Rumble, young man, rumble! And again, it starts on the defensive end. Defense leads to offense. Pels now have 20 points off turnovers. And Sacramento's down to one timeout left. We'll take it with them. 112-98 New Orleans, 8-11 to go in Sacramento. Gus Cadengill with a scoreboard update after this on the Pelicans Radio Network. This season, there's going to be a new name on the court around here because good doesn't cut it. Rates not enough. Let's be extraordinary. Keesler Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of the New Orleans Pelicans. Be extraordinary. Federally insured by NCUA. Membership eligibility required. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Progressive knows we're all trying to save right now. So, no pick sixes, no blitzes, no sacks? Nope, none of that. But there's this cool move called a balestra. Oh, I think that was it. Or maybe it was that? I don't know, I'm still learning. So, fencing tickets are cheaper than football, huh? Yeah, but hey, now we know what a counter parry is. Do we? Progressive offers you savings without sacrifice. So save big when you bundle home and auto. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states. We love the game because anything can happen. There's no sure thing. How did that go in? Every play. Oh, my goodness! Every shot. Are you kidding me? Every swing is a risk if you bet. I can't believe that just happened! There's no easy money. There's no luck. And no one wins all the time. If you bet, bet responsibly. And always set a limit. Learn more at responsibleplay.org. 
This season, there's going to be a new name on the court around here because good doesn't cut it. Rates not enough. Let's be extraordinary. Keesler Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of the New Orleans Pelicans. Be extraordinary. Federally insured by NCUA. Membership eligibility required. Welcome back to Pelicans Basketball. Let's check tonight's NBA scoreboard. 528 and counting in the fourth. Warriors and Trailblazers, fellas, tied at 86. A full scoreboard after the game. Ooh, how about them hard-playing Blazers? And we'll be in San Francisco tomorrow night. Same time, different city. That game is a Fox 8 game, if I'm not mistaken, back home exclusively. This one's on TNT tonight. But the Valley's folks will be back at it tomorrow. And right now, John DeShazer, we've got 8-11 left in Sacramento. It's the Pelicans 112 and the Kings 98. Yeah, the Pelicans winning the quarter 12 9. They got three 20-point scorers in this game. Zion Williamson and CJ McCollum, 25 apiece. Trey Murphy, 21. The, the thing that's, yeah, the thorn in the side, 11 turnovers, 20 points yeah. scored off those turnovers. Just clean that up. And the Pels have forced 14 turnovers for 18 points there. Ellis, Sabonis, Murray. We got a man. That's Fallon Jose. That's a cheap foul. Away from the ball, Alvarado fouling Ellis. So that is our first of the quarter. Ellis, Fox, Sabonis. Murray and Barnes. Barnes has 23 or 22, excuse me. Murray for three up top. Too strong. Long rebound to Jose Alvarado. Jose between circles. Picks up his dribble. Get it to McCollum right side. Behind the back flip to Zeller. Back to CJ off the curl. Stop pop right wing free. Is that man feeling it or what? Christian James and your guy, Cody Zeller, sets the screen to get him open. <laughs> That is a cool eight threes for CJ. Fox in the lane and one. It was a can't happen, run, man. but that is. That can't happen. A pretty much post up one on one by Deere and Fox. Jose wants to challenge this. No. Because he got called for the foul and he's saying I didn't touch him. Oh, he, you know, I thought that was on CJ. Did he reach in? I, I, I he did can't not answer. see that foul. And again, it's 115-100, free throw is short. And a rebound by Alvarado, so that's a kind of a ball, don't lie. Yeah, low man win. 115-100 with 7.15 to go. Jose, get it to McCullum off the curl, another three! Heater, Left heater, in the heater, top. heater. He, that is, that's an inferno. That's 31, and that is four 30-point games in his last five. And the one he didn't have 30, he had 29. Ellis for three, back iron, no good. Rebound, Murphy. Remember, the franchise record is 11, set by McCollum. Zeller goes oh, back, sir. four! Yes, sir. Bounce feed, Jose! They did not expect Cody Zeller to fly in like that. And Jose Alvarado find his teammate running baseline. Flush it down, mass man. And Mike Brown just took his final timeout with 6.48 left in the ball game, and they are starting to trickle towards the exits here at Golden One Center. It's a 12-2 run, and the Pelicans lead 120 to 100 with 6.48 left in the ball game on the Pelicans Radio Network. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Larry Bird hit the shot with two seconds left. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we lie on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM. Map. Netflix is a joke radio brings you exclusive comedy specials and stand up from Netflix's massive library from the world's biggest comedians. He's Mick Jagger. I pitched him a joke and he went, not funny. We give you unparalleled access to Netflix's top premieres and join Tom Papa and Fortune Finster every day for interviews with the biggest names in comedy. <laughs> Netflix is a joke radio channel 93. Search comedy on the all new SiriusXM app.
This is the starting lineup with Frank Isola and Brian Scalabrini. When you watch Michael Porter play last year, every time he shot, I would say, no, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot, bad shot, bad shot. Now, it, he just plays, his rhythm is better, he's more connected with guys like Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic. I think winning for guys like that, especially young players like Michael Porter Jr., I think it's changed him a lot. Listen to Frank Isola on the starting lineup, weekdays from 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern, on Sirius XM NBA Radio, Channel 86 in the car, and on the all-new Sirius XM app. There is no competition in soccer quite like the UEFA Champions League. And it's on Sirius XM FC. Kylian Mbappe delivering when it matters most. The stakes are higher now in the knockout stage where one goal can transform a club's trajectory. Jude Bellingham's driving, driving scores! And one performance can turn a star into an immortal. Erling Haaland has five! It's the Champions League knockout stage and all the top matches are on Sirius XM FC 157 and the all-new Sirius XM app. On the court, off the court, and on devices equipped with Amazon Alexa. For the best basketball insight, just say, Alexa, listen to NBA Radio on Sirius XM. Okay. Performing all her number one hits with special guest Nelly. Smoothie King Center, July 23rd. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Janet Jackson with special guest Nelly. For more, visit JanetJackson.com. All right, Pell's up 26.48 to go. We got a lot of stuff to talk about as far as C.J. McCollum goes. He is something else. He's 9 of 12 from 3, 31 points. He's two away from the single game record as Pelicans, which he set. <laughs> And he's getting pretty close to the franchise single season record. He needs four more to get that. Which is 231 set by Paige Stoyakovich. Yeah. Harrison Barnes just turned it over. Bell's up 20 with the ball. And again, Sacramento has no timeouts left. Alvarado starts, stops, picked up his dribble, get it to McCollum. I mean, they can't let him shoot. Murray's pushed him all the way to the center circle. Get it to Zeller now. Kick it to Jose. Left wing three. Yes, sir. Point that, Cody. That is three number 21 for the New Orleans Pelicans. It's the fifth time this year we have made 20 or more threes. Assist to the Batman. Now De'Aaron Fox. Crosses over, up top, Murray, line drive three, of course. Yeah, you know they're gonna shoot threes because that's oh. the only way they can get back into it is six minutes left, but they're 20 down, so they gotta shoot threes. So they're 13 of 34, Pels are 21 of 38. No, this is on the road, right? It's unreal. Trey's wide open, fakes the three. Up top, Dyson, splits defenders, drops it in. Off the glass with a little drop bear floater. Up the floor go the Kings. Barnes heavy to the rack. Ball on the deck. Somehow he found it. Threw it to Fox. Jump feed to Murray. He'll make another three from the right wing. Uh, a little garbage basket there. Pell's got the hands on it from Harrison Barnes down on the baseline. He's able to dig it out of the scrum. I love when I know the ball's going in before the guy even shoots it. 125-106. 5-10 to go. Jose. Blitzed at midcourt, then got it to Dyson. Drop bear floater, no. Rebound Sabonis. I don't even think Dyson wanted to shoot that one. I don't think he did either. You don't need to shoot it early in the shot clock if you don't like the shot. Fox left free throw line extended. Fall away dotted line. Well, the Cavalry's at the scores table. 8-0 run. Boy, did that happen fast. I'm not going to say it. Jose just made the three. I'm not going to say it again. Now Jose, skip pass to Dyson, catches it in the corner, and then steps out of bounds. All right, enough is enough. Cavalry on the floor, Herb Jones, Zion Williamson. Now, remember also, we'll be in San Francisco tomorrow, but the Phoenix Suns come here. So how is Mike Brown gonna play this? Now, he's not going to take anybody out because we're not stopping them. Yeah, you're on an 8-0 run, so why would you take him out? You, you got... It's about... Oh, That's boy. What a, Sabonis what a took, travel. Sabonis took three steps and laid it in. Well... You can get that many steps, you can score. 
so much for the 20 point lead. It's down to 15. Williamson, get it over to Murphy. Murphy, back to Z with five. Williamson, get it to McCollum. Extra pass, Murphy. Left wing three, back iron. Long rebound taken by Fox. Oh boy, they score here. Fox, step back, straightaway three. Yep. 125, 113. Here Talk comes about the Kings. A game of runs. And runs and runs and runs. So, you thought you had it, and now, no, you don't. The Aaron Fox now with 30 points. Have they missed in the last two minutes? I don't recall it. Doesn't feel like. Never easy. You got 21 made threes to their 15, and you were hanging on for dear life. Well, they continue the assault offensively, and again, you know they're going to score. You know they're going to put pressure on you. You know they're going to shoot a ton of threes. Fortunately, in this one, the Pels have made more threes, but you know what's coming. So with 3.47 to go, let's reset it here. Kings are out of timeouts. They only have one team foul. Pels have two team fouls and two timeouts left. You have a 12 point lead again, but it was just 22. So we got a score here, because we're not stopping them. All right, McCollum, Jones, Murphy, Williamson, Valanciunas. So your starting five is on the floor. A 13 to 2 run. Man. And again, it happens so fast. You just can't get rid of these guys. All right, Herb. Going to walk it into the front court. No, he won't. He's going to have his pocket picked by De'Aaron Fox. He lays it in. Fox might have twisted an ankle on that one. Yeah, the Capels are in a bit of disarray. It's, here. it's down to 10. Zion hard to the rim, misses the floater, got his own rebound and put it back and in. Oh, restore a little order there. All right, can you stop them one time? Fox. No, the answer is no. Fox is just downhill. He's taking that high screen from Sabonis, turning the corner, and he is attacking the rim. You know what that feels like to me? That was Devin Booker in Phoenix last December when he scored 58. He's just taking that high screen, and he's going right down the middle. Catch me if you can. The fact that he, this is even still a game is remarkable. Fox misses the free throw again. At some point, the free throw shooting is going to come back and bite him. Now, here's the other thing. Rebound the miss. Yes. Rebound the miss. 3-10 to go. You're up 12. He will miss this. Did you hit the like button? Come Just on. Hit the like button. And subscribe too. Join the family. It's good. 127, 116. Now they're going to press us here. And they're going to give it to Zion now. Pressing everybody but Z. Zion blitz. Get it to her in the front court. Now you can run a little clock. Under three minutes left. Zion. Right free throw line extended. Drives on Barnes. Got to the rim. Lays it in. He's just beating up on Harris. What are you going to do? Duke against Carolina crime. 29 for Z. 129, 116. Again, if you can stop them, which you can't. Mitchell, the lay in. If you stop them once, the game's over. McCollum, front court. Get it to Williamson across the timeline. He's going to have to par out. 129, 118. Heard. Get it to JV, left angle. Sabonis trying to strip it away from him back to Williamson. Shot clock at five. Zion drives on Barnes. Pulls up. No. Jump ball? They beat no. Nope. Okay. No. Murray ripped it away. 2.10 to go. Can you stop them once? Sabonis to Murray. Left to the top. Back to Sabonis. Sabonis still dribbling. Two minutes to go. Drops it off for Murray for three. The answer is no. Oh, you Sabonis cannot stop them. That's the screen, and Trey Murphy runs into the screen. They're hunting threes, and they're making them. 
I really cannot remember the last time they missed. 21 to four run. Everybody up. 129, 121, 140 to go. Herb, Detray, left angle three. Dagger time! That will quiet them down. Our 22nd made three of the night. 132, 121, 90 seconds to go. Mitchell lost and got it back. Bounce feed to Sabonis. Just don't foul him. Lays it in. Yeah, you don't mind that. No. You don't take a that. three for two. Got to get it in. Inbound to McCullum in the backcourt. He fouled it. Nope. Get it to Z now. Z crosses the timeline. Shovels to Herb. You can waste a little clock now. Pills up 120, uh, 132, 123. Zion finger roll. Sabonis tried to flop. No matter. Williamson with 31. And let's get on the bus. No foul. No foul. Fox, left corner. Mitchell saved it. Hells up 134, 123. Mitchell baseline jumper. That's short. Rebound McCollum. Turn the lights out. Yeah, twos don't do him any good. McCollum, they're trying to foul him. They won't call it. Well, if they're going to foul somebody, they ought to foul Z. And now they are really headed for the exits here. And now they foul Williamson with 46.4 seconds to go. And they are racing into the streets here in Sacramento, and the Pelicans are gonna do it. And Zion's got 23 of his 31 in the second half. You needed him. Wow. And he delivered. He left the court with about four and a half minutes left in the second quarter, and you're thinking, oh no. And guess what? <laughs> and now they foul Murphy. Free throws. Well, I don't know about you, partner, but it's got to be a first because there's never been an in-season tournament. This has got to be the first time in the history of the NBA that a team has beaten another team. Well, maybe in the old school days in the top six, but in the modern day NBA, you're beating a team five times in the regular season. Yeah. I mean, the, the law of averages just doesn't allow that. It just doesn't. In the same season, maybe spread out over two or three seasons, but in the same season, that generally just does not happen. It's and, hard to sweep a team. And three times in this building, and you know the tradition is light the beam. When they win, they shoot this purple beam out into the heavens as Murphy misses the free throw. After a win, they started that last year as the bench is now, the bench is now empty. But no beam has been lit but these when the New Orleans Pelicans have come into town this year. As a matter of fact, the only beam they're going to see is Jim as they wash down their <laughs> sorrows here in Sacramento after this one's over. Look, these folks are just, the folks who are still here just hanging on to see if Trey will miss his second free throw so they can get the crumble cookies. Yeah, first time in the modern era that a team has won all five games in a season series. And JD, destiny still in the New Orleans Pelicans' hands. Just win, baby. Win your games. And now Jose with a GTA steal, but can't get it to stay in bounds. Again, a host of changes, but there's 32 seconds left. You win your games and everything else will fall into place, but you gotta win your games. All right, Tolby Jones. Kick it out, Vazenkov, fly by Herb, free ball on the line, no rebound GTA. Walk it across, let's get on the bus and head to the city by the bay. The Pelicans are gonna sweep the Kings and assure themselves no worse than seventh in the Western Conference, but that ain't the goal, folks. Top six still in our sights as the final horn sounds. Your score. The New Orleans Pelicans 135, the Sacramento Kings 123. The hunt for 50 wins is still alive, John DeShazer. Three in a row on this road trip. Two games left in the regular season, and the Pelicans are now 48 and 32. And 27 and 14 away from the Smoothie King Center. Team has just been fantastic on the road, and they have done the job again tonight to take this game and to remain in sixth place. Our walk-off interview presented by is presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam, find your wins. 
the mass man, Cody Zeller. I had to get you on. What an outstanding effort by this team. You sweep the Kings, but first of all, as far as you just being able to make a contribution as a professional, not having to get ready by always staying ready, that's a tribute to you, sir. Congratulations on this Team W. First of all, I appreciate you getting me on. Uh, we're getting late in the season. This is game 80, so I'm glad we finally made this happen. Uh, just a huge run. I mean, this is what you play all season for to play meaningful, meaningful games here in April and, uh, you know, tough, you know, environment. Important game for us, and uh, just glad that we come out with a win. Look, Cody, when you're playing a game like this, one run for one team, one run for the other, and you're continuing to have to answer, how important is it, I guess, to maintain your composure because you know they're going to keep coming? Yeah, I mean, they play well here at home. Uh, you know, they needed this win just as bad as we did. So we knew it was going to be a game of runs. They got a lot of talented players. Um, so we uh, just glad that we came out on top. Now you guys play a game where you make 22 threes, Cody. Can this team be beat when it makes 22 threes? Because it hadn't been that way this season. Yeah, I heard the numbers. Is, it's over 17. Where we've, uh, I don't know if we've lost all year. So uh, we've really been focused on shooting more threes. And uh, I think it's a recipe for success moving forward. How good does it feel to be 3-0 and on this road trip? You only got one more. You obviously have to play it tomorrow night. But so far, so good. You're clean in terms of being on the road for this trip. Yeah, we got uh, one more, another tough game tomorrow. Um, every game's important. Like I said, it's just uh, fun to be playing meaningful games this time of year. Well, Cody, again, I had to get you on. Look, we know what you're doing up here. And we said when you came on the floor, because it was obvious Larry Nance was not going to play tonight, and said Cody Zeller's going to get some time. You know what he's going to do? He's going to rebound. He's going to set screens. He's going to get a couple of assists. And you got your two points on the dunk, and you did everything in about three minutes. <laughs> so you made me look good, my man. I'm trying to do my job. I appreciate it. All right. We'll see you on the bus. I right, appreciate it. Thank you. That's Cody Zeller. I mean, J.D. Again, that is a complete and utter professional well, right there. And you said that, and you said that the last couple of games because it's been applicable. Jonas Valanciunas, who only plays four minutes in Phoenix, then he comes to Portland and gives you a great game. Professionalism. Cody Zeller, who hadn't played meaningful, meaningful minutes in quite some time, comes and gives you a professional effort. You've got guys who have bought into what the Pelicans are doing. And as Cody said, you're playing meaningful games so you can't afford to slip mentally or physically and continue to play these meaningful games and rack them up. Well, J.D., I don't know how we can have much more fun than we've had on this road trip, but I tell you what, if things shake out the way that they could tomorrow, and by the way... Um, Go Sacramento Kings. I will throw that out there because the Phoenix Suns come here tomorrow night. And if the Pelicans can complete the sweep of this road trip tomorrow in San Francisco against the Golden State Warriors, we'll see how they're doing in Portland right now. Remember, they'll be on the second of a back-to-back. -back. But if the Pels win tomorrow and Phoenix loses, we clinch top six. And, and think about it. It felt like the apocalypse. It felt like the world was caving in. The Pels lost four at the homestand. On the homestand. Lost four. The last four games at the homestand lost them all. And you were wondering where it was going to come from. How this thing was going to collect itself. How it was going to recompose. And this is the answer. Three straight wins on the road to get to climb up to six, the sixth seed. And now to remain in the sixth seed. You know, I was just thinking about while you were talking right there about Zion and, you know, going back in the locker room. What is the message that you deliver to your teammates? I'm here. No I'm here for you. Not only did he come back out, he played the entire third quarter. That message is I'm here. I'm, I'm in. Ten toes down. We're going to do this together. I'm not going to leave you hanging if I can play. I'll play, let's go get them. Because that, that's exactly what you're looking for from your leader. And that those are the things that make you a leader. It, it isn't what you say, it's what you do. You can talk all you want to about wanting to play a meaningful games and feeling pretty good about playing in pressure. But you got to go out there and do it. And so he's showing his teammates, hey, I'm with you guys. I'm, I'm not going to leave you hanging. If at all I can go, I'm going to go. Again, you got to do it yourself, but that could be one of the most fun plane rides back home on Saturday if things shake out tomorrow night. But again, it doesn't matter if you don't take care of your own business. Uh, I mean, what's there left? You got, you got the Golden State Warriors in San Francisco with everything on the line. 
How much fun is that? Yeah, you just got to play ball. I mean, because you know what the stakes are for yourself, and you know what the stakes are for Golden State. But look, you're playing, and you're in a groove, and you want to maintain that groove. This is when you want to be ascending, and the Pels are heading in the right direction at the end of the season. This is the momentum you want to take into the postseason. All right, game time tomorrow, same time, 9 o'clock Central, back home. I know everybody's going to be staying up late with us. Gus Kattengill, Aaron Summers will have your pregame for you at 8.30 tomorrow. Tune in, and let's get this thing done jd we'll see you in just a little bit john DeShazer, outstanding as always our producer engineer on site mr rj DeSanto. scott marsh was our statistician and this is todd graffinini big thanks to the conductor chris moran and jim eichenhofer by the way he'll be in studio tonight for pelicans ot with gus Catgill. your happy final from Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento, California, as you sweep the Kings five games to none, the New Orleans Pelicans 135, the Sacramento Kings 123. Tonight's broadcast was brought to you in part by Oshner Health System, official health care provider of the New Orleans Pelicans. Seat Geek, get your seat in a seat. And by Smoothie King, rule the day. Hey, basketball fans, ready to score some cash back? Tip off your shopping trips with the Ibotta app or browser.